but in my opinion, and I've told Farm Truck this before, so I don't know, I don't know why he continues to do that, but in my opinion, that's not Farm Truck's lane. That's not his road. That's not his lane. He's not racing in it. And unless Birdman or whoever's in that lane, unless they ask Farm Truck to clean the road, he should not touch it or go anywhere near it because there's fifty thousand dollars on the line here, and you know, the final race of and the night. No matter what, they could have said, and, "Well, Birdman, or yeah, farm truck, I, put that fucking shit down, and it fucked now, me over." If I was Birdman, if I was Birdman, and I had a broke car, and I wanted to be a bitch about it, right? I would have thrown a fit because I'd have said, "Farm truck just touched my lane, lane. and fucked it all up." Right. Yep. This ain't right. Yeah. Right. This no, ain't right. No and we'd have had it. to split the money, and we wouldn't have got to run the J- final. J- James is real. No, no, Birdman's not no bitch. He ain't gonna right. take it like that. Right. And he ain't Birdman, gonna take it like but it, you know what I'm saying? I wish they would have shown on the show that the oil wasn't actually in the in the lane. It was before right. the burnout. But so, you know, they, because he drove around it and was okay, and he agreed to race in it. You know, here, here's where I at. You know what? You know, we're racing out there, right? We're on camera. But that shit, it, the races that I have been with y'all have been felt as real. And they are as real yes. as it can get. You forget I that you agree. got we the damn mics on. We just kind of like the cameras aren't around. And right. you notice that a lot of times they'll catch us saying shit, shit that, that we shouldn't say. We, yeah. There's no doubt about it. And they always you know catch saying? me fucking saying something or doing oh, something. Like, and then I go, crazy, God damn it, crazy you know? expression. Just like how crazy that I looked whenever I was looking at that oil in the road. I didn't even think they were like on me because other shit was going on. I didn't think they were on me. There was small tire shit with whatever was going on. I'm looking at so I'm fucking you know, with the road. And then I'm telling Jackie, I'm like, don't say nothing about it. Don't talk to nobody because I don't want yeah. them to know I know. If I, because I want to catch them doing it, I don't want them to know I know because they won't yeah. do it. I want to catch when, them doing it so I can beat their when, fucking brains in. And when, then as we're walking off, I look back all crazy at everybody like, yeah. who the fuck's doing it? <laughs> Dude, I looked like a goddamn crazy person. But if we're doing something wrong, right? Then they get on the, then they get on there and say, it's not real. It's movie. Yes, it's script. It's exactly, script. It's this. Exactly. It's that. Hold on now. What is it? Is it real or is it not? Exactly. You yeah. know, I mean, and everybody does that though. Just like I'll guarantee fucking to you, Shane forgot all that he had that fucking microphone on whenever he said Goad shouldn't be on the list because he's fucking. Yeah. If he, if hey, he cause, knew. Cause that shit right. got ended up getting bad. I mean, yeah. go text him and all kinds well, of stuff I after mean, that. You know? What about you know? so? What about when Chief told him, Chief told, uh, uh, Monza. Uh-oh. Here we go. Chief told Monza, what'd he tell, uh, uh, his, seven days? His girl gonna, his girl, uh, see how you say, he goes, girl's gonna flag it. He thought he knew how I was gonna do that light, but I had him tricked. What now? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> we're, what? Where, where, Chief, you, you thought, you thought, you told Monza, go tell Doc that he's gonna do it fast. <laughs> Or something no, like she gonna, I said, go tell Doc she's going to hold the light. She right. And she done it fast. Yes, right. She did. I said, yes, she did. Yes, she did. Ass. Yes, she you did. Know, and, I was, yes. and I get all these bad comments. Yes. And I think, you you but, idiots, if I was doing anything, I, I wouldn't have read it. Right. Number one. <laughs> right. You know what I'm talking about? Come <laughs> yeah. on. Yeah. Yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? But, but the reason, but, but also, I say those things. Because you think you well, got it figured out. You well, know the street. Not, I respect that. Not just that, though. There's other reasons, too. Doc gets in his own head. So... If Doc thinks that the, if he hears that the light's been on before it's coming up and it's on and it's on and it's on, Doc puts it in his head. There's no deviation from that. That's what's going on. Doc knows you're trying to screw him over. The light right. was on. I for respect the, how you the, said, the, hey, the, no, the past Chief before, stepped up and called well, it right. No, well, the Doc, Doc hears it because they run back and tell Doc in his car, hey, that past, the light was on when she brought it up. The light was on when she brought it right. up, whatever. So then Doc gets in his head that that's what's going to happen every time. Doc thinks it's going to happen right. every time. So then and- Doc would have went. Before the light even come up, because he would have had it in his head. So I'm telling my guys, tell Doc she gonna hold the light. That's just to get Doc to just to just back off a little bit and wait on the light. Right. You know what I mean? And so people are like, oh, he's he's saying that they're that you, they're you, cheating or, or Precious is gonna cheat. I'm like, whoa, 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 whoa. I've known you for a little while. All but my I life. Think, uh, yeah, I've known you my whole <laughs> life. <laughs> and she ain't never lied. But, <laughs> but I think I think that I have. In my actions, maybe not what I've said all the time, but in my actions and what I've done and, and everything, I think that I've shown you that uh, I'm not like that. I'm not going to say you're cheating me or nothing like that, and I'm not going to tell anybody else that you're cheating us. Four so, or five has showed us love right. and support. Yes, we, sh- we showed you that. So when I say, hey, We are who we are today because of them. If you watch that episode again, boss, when I say, hey, tell Doc she's going to hold the light, that's like saying, tell Doc she's going to hold the light. So Doc will wait on it, you know what I mean? Because right. otherwise they'll get in his head and say the light's on, the light's on when she's bringing it up. Right. So he's gonna go early and then he's gonna jump. You know, and and it's like this. So a lot you of know, times I tell Doc things just to people, get him to, to, to calm the fuck down. You know, people well, make a, a bunch of comments, like on the hand drops, right? 
You know, people make comments. Oh, he's cheating. He done it one way, then he done it another I love way. It. It's never supposed That's to be the same. Never, I love it. But you see these idiots that don't race and they say right. bad stuff, then everybody jumps on the bandwagon. Right. If you they say you're bad, everybody, everybody jumps on the bandwagon to say you're bad. Yeah, yeah. That's, you know, and that's, I'm thinking if I done it one way, I would be cheating. But if I do it different ways, right. then the driver well, has to be a Or if you did it exactly the same way, except for when your guys get up. Right. And then you fucking go real fast. Yeah. So, you yeah. know what I mean? Or something like that. But what's would, funny is if you watch the races that he did them different, the ones that he did that were questionable or different the only guys or whatever. that jumped was his. Well, but if <laughs> yeah, you, really. <laughs> <laughs> you fucking drove people over. Yeah, but if you real. watch the races that he does them different... He's so unpredictable that the races that you think he's going to fuck somebody over yeah. was dead up, straight up, uh, straight shooter. And then the races watched. that you think, oh, he ain't going to try and fuck nobody over here, this is two Memphis guys. And he'll flag it weird or he'll turn yep. around and flag it backwards. Yep. And it's like, okay, so if, if people actually sit and look at it from, if from, you know racing, if you're not objective, if you, if you yes. look at it with an open Unless mind, you're trying to fucking, right. but if you look apart, at it with an I open mind, I thought the flagging was great. If you look at it with an open mind, you'd look at it and from both sides and you'd say, hey, look, Looks to me like he's just random as fuck. I mean, I, hey, I said it. I that won night. twenty bucks on Dave. Remember? Was you in my trailer, Phantom? You was, wasn't you? Dave, y'all ain't gonna back me up like she does him. I see how this is. <laughs> <laughs> I hey, no, you all your life. Hey, we ain't ride or die. Man, my precious is man, precious, I'm, whether she's there or not. Oh yeah. I gotta yeah. get my boss up here because because <laughs> no matter what he says, she goes, "Yep, yep." You all motherfuckers looking at me like, "What?" No, I don't remember that. Yeah. Hey, I might as the story Dave, goes. Hey, hey, before, before I race, Dave come in my trailer and he's like. He's like, that motherfucker flagged it quick, flagged it quick. I said, what are you talking about? He goes, he flagged it quick. I said, you've been flagging it the same way for the last two hours. He's like, no, he hadn't. He did mine different. And I said, I said, Dave, yeah. I said, on, I said, I guarantee you, he took two steps back and dropped his arms. He goes, no, he didn't take any steps back. He goes, as soon as he stopped the car, he dropped his hands. And I was like, bet 20. And he goes, you weren't even up there. I said, I don't care. I don't have to be up there. I know what he's doing. I'm watching him. He's done it the same way for all the big races. The only the little races or the weird races, the ones he did different, all the big races were straight up. I said, I said, 20 bucks. And he goes, you wasn't even up there. I said, then bet me 20. He bet 20 bucks. We watched it on slow-mo on, on the phone, the video of his phone that he had. And it was one step, two step. Now the, the second step was, was a jump, you know, because he jumped, he one step and then he jumped backwards, but that's a step. And yep. he took two steps and I won 20 bucks. And Dave was like, God damn. You know, I was sitting there and I watched him flag it and I would have said that he didn't move at all. I said, that's why you got to shut the fuck up on that shit. Because if you say that, the whole world's going to agree with it. Just like everything else you said. Say it. it. And you wouldn't believe but the then, people, the different people that have come up to you and say, do this and say, do that. Yeah. And only the real ones don't do that. You know what I'm saying? Yep. Sean never asked me anything about a rate. Uh, yeah. uh, you never asked me anything. Yeah, but you know Guess what? what? My, my people never asked me anything because they know I'm like this. If I cheat for my people like that. All I'm doing is setting them up for failure later when I get where I can't do it. Yep. They got to learn what's going on. Flagger. Right. Well, that's the thing, they got to stand on their own. They got to do that. If now, if you jump on enough, them, I'm going to help them. Yeah, but if they're not fast enough to win the first round, how are they going to be fast enough to win the right. last round? So what are, you, what are you giving them? You ain't giving them nothing. All nothing. you're doing setting is, them up for failure. is you're setting them up for failure later. You yep. know what I mean? Because right. then they're going to get the confidence up, think they're going to win the whole thing, yep. but and then they they don't get the flag right one time, and they're, they're, they're fucked. So. I mean, Whatever, I, I've man. said it. I said it to you. I've said it to everybody. You can't fuck me on the flag. Right. I'm going to wait until you move, or That's I'm going to wait until the light comes yeah. on. And I mean, you know, Chief Dave said that stuff when, every, every in that camera to you. You ever. remember he went to, to Sean. Dave did the worm, and he said, "Sean, you know, <laughs> his gal's gone up to do this. You yeah. know, rah rah rah. You know what I'm saying?" <laughs> is and that Sean his Dave said, impression? Is that the Dave? <laughs> the is, raw, raw, raw. Is that your Dave impression? I'm going to do this. <laughs> and raw, Sean raw, said, "He, Sean Zach words. You know, he can't f me on the light. I'm going to go. Right. You know, like if someone says some bad things." There's a hundred million the people that's going to jump on the bandwagon. Even when Dave and the guy from Memphis were racing and they came to you and wanted to change the way you were flagging, I said, I don't understand. It's a flashlight. He can't screw you. No. You when the go light comes on, on the you light. go. It the only, matter. Yeah. <laughs> it, I mean, the only way he can screw you is if he... Put my if hands he, over your eyes. Point, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm not going to do that. You know? Hey, you should do this. Yeah. You know, to, and so that yeah. this guy can see it. So, right. It, you know, it was like that's gonna be pretty noticeable for real. You know, it was like I don't understand why y'all are even doing this. Y'all, what y'all are doing are taking away from everything you've done so far. You know, we ran on that flashlight all night, and then you're wanting to change it. I was like, I don't get it. So what you did to them when they was asked worse you that? Than, but it was great because they wanted a different flag. They but wanted, it was exactly the way they wanted it, though. Yeah, but but they it, did, but it, didn't but make it no made sense. them look stupid. Yeah, right. You know I mean? And and you know, my my guy, he's apologized. 
uh, Brian Britt that said, he's right. apologized a hundred times. Hey, I should not he have just, never went yeah. up there. And I told my told him, hey, if one of my guys ever come back up there to me and say, I don't care if Donald Trump tells you to come up there, you better not. Right. And, he you know, he caught wanted, a lot of slack because he was green and he let and the worm he, lead him up there. <laughs> <laughs> and then the worm takes and, and, and chops it up different on him yeah, and throws does. him under the bus. <laughs> Made him look like the dumb one. So yeah. Brian gets back to Memphis. Everybody wants to dogpile him, right? Yeah. And Brian's, you know, he's innocent in a way. He's green to the movie stuff. He's like, I promise, Jay. He almost got kicked off the team for that. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But, Dave you know, almost got kicked and, off the team. That's what happened. Yeah. You start running with Dave. You That's kicked off the team. You start running with Dave. You know, Dave's intelligent. He's a damn worm. He's no dummy. Yeah, no, no. Dave is. Dave he's is good. Very, Dave's no dummy. Dave's no, no dummy. and he's good. He's very opportunistic. You know, I mean, he's he'll lucky, figure. but he's also the reason he's lucky is because he's able to. Uh, He's able to he, jump on opportunities that arise. Dave yes. wants to win at any cost. Of course, he's a racer. Yeah, but everybody don't want it like that. You didn't want it like that. Well, no. You could have okay. got them shoes of yours back if you said, but you said, no, I don't want it like that. Of, yeah, that's different. Oh, you got to take that back. Shit, that's Dave's going to take that shit and run with it. I see you know, what and you're I saying. respect him. That's no, him. I, I ain't going to dog him. I'm going to say nothing. Each to their own. Yeah. yeah. No, I see what you're saying. I get it. He ain't going to deny it. There's yeah, a, no, no, no. He's Dave's, a good Dave's dude. Never that, claimed, you know, no, Dave's no. going to own it. Dave's, you know? never, yeah, yeah. Dave's never claimed to, uh, you know, to be, be to be honorable. We, we all <laughs> don't. <laughs> you know, we all don't Dave think alike. You know, we'd all be fighting over the same thing. Yeah, Dave will let you know straight up if you give him if you give him a chance, he's going to beat you. You know what right. I mean? Yep. And he and he's done it to me. That man could get in my head. I've never seen anybody that could get to me the way he does because every time I've raced him, he has been able to to snooker me out of it. And it's unbelievable how good he is at it to me. And I people don't understand it. He will say Pick you apart to get it his but, way. But he'll start it on Tuesday of the week before. Yep. yep. He's so good at it. He'll start on Tuesday of the week before he'll send me a message outside of the group. Hey, don't tell nobody. And send me a picture of a broken rod. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And he'd be like, You got one of these? And I'd be like, Oh shit, man, let me see if I can find something. You know, and then I'm trying to help him what? out. But then it puts it in my head, well, his motor's broke. And so then all week He's like, man, I just, I ain't got no, I can't, I'm not going to be having any time to test. I'm barely yep. going to be putting it together right before the race. What? And it ain't made a hit. And I'm all, and then, so then it gets in my head. So then when we get to the race, well, I turn mine down because I know that he. Either ain't, that or you, you start thinking he's got me like this before. Yeah. So you end up turning yours up. Either way. You know, either way, either way he's way, in your he head. Gets, he gets me so bad like that. Yeah. And then I yeah, lose. But the thing about David, he, even while you know, you can sit there and know that he fucking has you. And he could still walk up to me and say, hey, man, you got five bucks on you? And I'd loan it to him. Ah, uh, dude. He's fucking, fun. Fucking hey. he, came, he came up crying man. to me about the light, right? About how I was doing the light. And the whole time he maneuvered my guy to come up there. And, and get, almost lose well, his whole life. All he's got to do, and though, then he turns around. All he's got to do to your guy. But who's guess green, what? He's got he's this got... no prep guy standing over to the side. That's his buddy, the dude that does the no prep race. What's this? The black headed dude, the one that want to act tough. And I said, turn them goddamn cameras off. You think you that tough? Wiley. Is that who it is? Wiley. Oh yeah, Wiley. He, Wiley at the is whole that time, goddamn tough. Wiley's yeah. tough. Wiley's tough. tough. <laughs> well, Wiley's tough. Out. I, love, I like, and Wiley's fair. Yeah, and he, Wiley but, is know. as fair. If Wiley says something, but you can fucking guarantee the it's whole the time. Or he believes Dave, it. Yeah, Dave has got. him. <laughs> Dave has him up there. And Dave knows that he wants Wiley to flag it. And the other time, he's got my guy over there complaining, saying I'm doing something wrong. Hey, if you want somebody to flag it, okay, the guy's tough. He's fair. He's all of the above, right? Just walk up and say, JJ the boss, I want this guy to flag. I respect it. I'm gonna give it to you if that's how you want it. Instead of yeah. trying to, trying instead to, of, we don't manipulate the situation. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. But hey, you know, and Dave and I've, I've done, I've done my fair weasel shit. But like, trust me, <laughs> I, ain't, I ain't no saint. Have. But like, if I, if I was racing that guy, now I don't think Dave had anything to worry about against that guy. You know, which he, guy? You know, which car Brian Britt, he the yellow Camaro, uh, right? back half car, the one you the know, yellow what I'm Camaro, saying? right? Yeah. Okay, so, yeah, he shouldn't have, he so, shouldn't have but, been but, but think what? about it. If you're racing, racing somebody green and you know this guy wants to be famous, he wants to be on TV, he wants to do a good show, and he wants his family to see him. You know, he's a little different than most of the Memphis guys anyway. When you look at him, you know what I mean. He he, he acts a little different than most of them. Yep, you know. Yep. So and he wants to be at the front of the drivers' meeting and shit like that. You know what I mean? So. Dave saw that, and this is I'm just my opinion. I've never talked to Dave about it at, at all. But if I was Dave in that situation, I'd have said, the first thing I'd have said to that guy is I'd have walked over and been like, man, this sucks. What? And he would have jumped he, up. And he said, what? He, what? What sucks? Well, man, I want to race you, and I, you got a badass car, and, and I, I just want an opportunity to race you heads up. 
And, you know, we got to deal with this funky flagging up here. And, and it's, you know, it just sucks that we could, we could race heads up and be and, and have a badass race on the show. But man, we got to deal with that, that crazy flagging, you know, and then that guy would have went, Oh, what? And Dave, Dave, cause I just want it to be fair. And then that guy, well, me too. I'm fair too. I want it to be fair. Right. Let's go talk to my, I'm, I know that guy, JJ. Oh, Let's go Memphis talk boys, to him. Huh? You know what I mean? Let's yeah, go talk to him. Yeah. That's, that's your Memphis that's boy. It. What's that guy's name? <laughs> Brian, Bri- that's Brian. That's Brian. I'm, that's Brian. I'm fair. I can be fair. Hey, Daddy Dave. Hey, let's go talk to him. JJ's my buddy. Let's yep. go talk to him. He'll understand. We you just know. want you to do it this way. Yeah, we just <laughs> want it to be. Hey, and he kept saying, he just kept, we just want it to be fair. You know what I mean? I was like, so that's Man, why the turned around. part I, is what Dave beat into his head <laughs> the whole time. The fucking track. Yeah, but it was easy. this guy that he <laughs> wants to play. But it was yeah. easy because that guy's head was soft. You know, yep. so we didn't yep. have to beat it into it very hard. But but that's what I'm saying. Like you can those things, you can put those things into the other guy's head. You know, like when we used to race on the street around here, and somebody was really fast, and like I used to bet a lot on farm truck, and I used to roll a farm truck a lot, and you know that's back when he used to race a bunch on the street and stuff, right. and. uh and Farm Truck was one of the first ones around here that liked to gamble. We never liked to gamble. Farm Truck did. He had been around the world. He had seen some shit. So he liked to gamble. Man, I'm, I'm standing there one day and I knew we weren't going to be, I knew we didn't have it. I knew the truck wouldn't beat this guy. So first thing I did is he, as soon as he shows up, he's like, man, I've never been to this spot before. Well, bing, light bulb goes off. Who hey, said that? This guy that Farm Truck was racing at Cougar Tool and a light bulb goes off. And so I walk over right before the race, man. It was shitty as fuck. I walk over to this car right as he's getting in it and putting his helmet on. I'm like, Hey, man. I just want to let you know, I don't know if anybody told you, but I'm, I just, I can't go on for the rest of the night with a, with a solid conscience knowing that I didn't tell you this. And I bet nobody told you, but this fucking road is short as fuck. <laughs> so make sure that you are on the fucking brakes when you go through there or you will crash into that fucking landfill over there and you'll die. Like three people have gone off in that motherfucker. And he's like, no shit. I'm like, yeah. And which lane are you in? I said, hope it's not the right. And he's like, what? I'm like, yeah. I'm like, right at the finish line, there's a great and a giant bump. And it is going, if your car's real, hey, I was like, if your car's real low, and then I went, oh, wow, your car's real low. Ooh. But if JJ the boss would have said that, I would have been the baddest guy in the world. I said, (laughs) right? She would be a sorry motherfucker. I said, man, I said, trailer trash. I said, man, as fast as this car is, that's just real street stuff. I said, as fast as this car is, you got him covered. No problem, man. It ain't worth tearing your fucking car up for that farm truck, you know? And dude, and of course he's strapping in the car. You know what I mean? And so, so now, fun. hey, it was, <laughs> hey, and then, and then he's, he's like, he's, we were doing a, uh, an arm drop and, uh, and I was like, Hey, you, you run off arm drop before? Oh yeah, yeah. We're from Vernon. We run off arm drop all the time. I said, okay, cool. I said, I flag it fast. So, you know, be ready. And then, and he's like, Oh, okay. Okay. I'll be ready. I'll be ready. And then I was like, and then I went to his crew guy, right? Right. As he's pulling up out of the burnout. I said, Hey, I said, I fucked up, man. I told him that I flag it fast. I shouldn't have done that. I got in his head. Go tell him right now. Don't jump. Cause if he jumps, if he jumps, man, he's you lost. Are, hey, sorry, are you from Memphis? So, so that guy run over there, opened his door and said, Hey, 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 chief wanted me to tell you, man, he feels bad about it. He told you he flags it fast, but he thinks he felt like he got in your head and he feels like you're going to go real, you're going to jump. So just, Hey, just don't jump. Don't jump. Don't wait on his hand. He needed one more person hey, to go tell him to so, be safe. So then, <laughs> hey, so then that guy, Hey, when that guy shut his door, he was, he had a thousand yard stare. He was. <laughs> Yeah, yeah that's what shit makes us there. different from the track so guys. When I, when it makes I, us street. You when know, I run stuff back like and that. Drop. that shit won't bother me. Right. Hey. You can come up to my car and say anything you fucking want. Yeah, and, you're and, dumb. And, and we do I things know, like that. It ain't dumb. because we're a I bad person. Dumb, you know what I'm saying? It's because, now, we, hey, we're street racing. You're supposed to hustle, talk. And they, it's all no, part you of the street. Can, that shit will fuck with me, too, but it don't change my race. But it does fuck with me. You know. But I'll get into that in a minute. But anyway, as soon as I drop my hands on that guy... Okay, he was dead late. <laughs> farm truck was dead on it. And then he starts driving around farm truck at about 400 foot and then let off. <laughs> we didn't want to hit the crate. It wasn't worth him fucking losing his car for. You a sorry motherfucker, hey, man. And when he came back over there. I bet you was gone. He Did came, you no. probably fucking no. run? Hey, I, he got a phone back, call. He came back over there and he was like, he's like, man. I shouldn't have let off so early. It, you know, I stopped, I stopped okay and I didn't even feel the grass. I said, well, you weren't going fast enough. You know, if you just stayed in it, man, that thing would rip your old front end off, man. It was shitty and I've done some shit like that. And you know where I got it? From Dave. Yeah, from fucking Dave. <laughs> Me and Dave used to do that to every fucking body. You know, yep. when we was on that show, Pinks, 
the guy we was racing was green, you know, yep. and me and Dave, we got this. I can look at Dave and we know how we're going to fuck somebody over, you know, yep. and we didn't have, but we only do it because we got fucked over in the, in the whole thing. Yeah. We didn't have the car. Yeah, you paid your tuition, but we didn't have the car to race those guys. We shouldn't have been racing them and they set us up. We, we got there and it was a different car. So then are you they, talking about when you race the woolly man? Yeah. So then they stick that Chris Chow guy in to drive it and all he's ever driven is turbo cars. And so. We set him out four car lengths or something stupid, or, or he set us out four car lengths. Well, he gets done doing his burnout, and then he's going to do a, a fucking pulling up there, and then they're all freaking out because it's getting warm, and it's getting warm, and it's getting warm, and they don't have a radiator. And so I told Dave, I said, whoa, 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 slow down, slow down. I said, hey, man, I think you should do another burnout. Dave didn't even have to hear the rest of my thing because he, he looked over, seen what was going on. They're all right. freaking out. Dave's so Dave, intelligent. Dave done a little dry hop and they pulled up there and they act like he couldn't get the headlights on, you know, everything. And then, <laughs> so then as soon as the guy let the trans brake go, train line blew. Right. Transmission fluid on the tires, damn near hit the wall, spun around. We won. You know what I mean? But it was, it's just me and Dave, we have that. And so I, I can all, I can already see Dave going over to Brian Bitt going, oh, man, this sucks, right. man. You know, street racing, you're going to say things. I say things. But I do Dave's dumb shit. You know what I'm saying? Everybody does Yeah, but crazy. Dave still does that shit to us. Right. Yeah. You know, hey, he's, we he's, was in a no prep in Denton. You know? We was in a no prep in Denton with Dave. And I... You know, and I'm not saying this shit. I'm saying it because I'm in. I'm. I'm. A, I'm. A, I'm pretty impressed. No, and, way, and we talk about it yeah, a lot. He, like, uh, we talk about it around the. We shop got down to the, the last four cars in a no prep in Denton. The very first no prep anybody ever even heard of, besides the, the Chicago King of the Streets deal. And we're down there, and it was scary. Everybody I raced crashed, crashed in front of me, crashed behind me. But oh, we every, didn't. Every, every, but at and least was, one person in every fucking race crashed. Yeah, and there was four cars left. And it was me, Dave, Monza, and Doc. That was it. Just us. And we even said, we could just go home hey. and finish this Well, that, no, Dave. Yeah. Dave. Yeah. Dave walks up. We're all standing there, and Dave walks up, and he goes, man, this sucks. And I was like, what? And me and Mons and Dog are sitting there, he goes, what? And he goes, well, man, why are we going to tear up our cars when it's us? We're buddies. We're from the same damn area code. We go home and finish this on the street in Oklahoma City tonight. We ain't got to do it out here on this dumbass track and crash our cars for all these promoters and people. And I was like, yeah. Yeah, because I was scared shitless anyway. Everybody crashed in front of me. And Doc's over there going, no, hell no. I got a motherfucking car to beat y'all. And Dave goes, you're stupid, dummy. You're going to crash your car and all that shit. And he goes, look, we just need to, to to split this money and we'll go run for it in Oklahoma City when we get back. Hey, and Mons, of course, he's, he was, he was more scared than me. His car's nice. My yeah. car was a piece of yeah, shit. Monza, no, goes, Monza, Monza was down to Monza the- goes, oh yeah, no, I'm good with that. Let's load up. <laughs> Monza's oh seven days, you know. Right. Monza gave the semifinal seven days on that deal. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because Monza looked at it. Monza well, the guys goes, already made three passes tonight. <laughs> Monza looked at it like, wait a minute. So we can finish this next Saturday? That's seven days. So I get seven days? Hell yeah, I'm in. As, no, you're not, motherfucker. Fuck that. Monza likes it. His family don't, but whatever. So then as soon as we said that to the fucking guy running the race and he split the money and gave it to us, Dave goes, man, it's a good damn thing. And Jackie walked up and Jackie goes, Phew. That thing is hurt bad. And yeah. I was like, what? His he whole goes, fucking motor was he blowed. He blowed the motor up. He did that just because he motor yeah, was blown yeah, up. He's done it in the cash days before, too. Yeah, God. Like, full blown in the cash days, talked everybody into splitting. <laughs> he's, right. He's, uh, he's good at that shit, man. He really is. He did, he did what yeah. Birdman tried to do to fucking Chief, but right. he pulled it off. But back in right. the day, man, me and Dave and, and a guy named Kid Rock, the flagger, we well, could, we could fuck some people over yeah. on the street. You know, Y'all fuck and, the shit and, out and, of Boosting. And, <laughs> you know, there's a different language in the streets. There's there everything's is. different, you know what I'm saying? And and when you're sitting on the couch, nah, you're gonna hear some crazy stuff. You're gonna think some crazy yeah. stuff. But you know, hey, it is what it is. It's a street right. race. It's tuition. You yeah. know what I mean? It's tuition. Brian Britt paid tuition. Yep. Brian right. Britt was green. He almost paid more and, than that though. You no, know, he almost paid his life for it. I agree. But Brian Britt who was green and he was friendly and he wanted it to be fair and he let yeah. he let a professional street racer slash con man slash government man porn star yeah, but you know, in, in he his, let him get into his head but, now see uh, so in my in my theory here is hey look dave helped him yeah because from now on brian ain't gonna let nobody, nobody do that to talk him. Bullshit, to him like that. but dave no, well, Dave still does that shit to me. No, no, no I'm, I'm talking, about, I'm talking no. about Brian won't let anybody else do that to him again. No, Next time somebody no, goes no, over to Brian, unless it's Dave. Yeah, but, we had court but, in Memphis over that. Dave, <laughs> Dave, Dave, Dave had court in Memphis over that. But really? Dave can go up to him and still do the same shit. And Dave is good enough that he can fucking get yeah. me every time. And he can walk off and I go... That son of a <laughs> bitch. And then he can come back the next week and do the exact same fucking thing. But 
But Dave saved Brian. So from now on, Brian ain't going to let nobody fuck him up. Just like nope. when we went to the Denton Grudge Race, me and you, and we lost all our money to, to Stacy, <laughs> little Stacy with the tattoos on his head. Yeah, he was at the last real cash days. Yeah, all shot up, gets shot all the yep. time shit. Yep. We let little Stacy and Big Petey oh take all God. of our money one all of our money. They took all of They hustled us, lied to us, and we were standing there going. David said one of their guys yeah. going to argue with us. They said, they said, uh, they said, <laughs> this is. We want this to be a fair race. I'm like, yeah, I'm fair. There's I'm nothing fair, fair about well, this street. Hey, when it was all well, said was, and done. This was a grudge race at the track. When it was oh, all okay. said and done, okay. they took all of our money. Everything. All we of had. it. Took and what's all fucked of up, everything. man, is. So then you after. You fucked that, us on yeah, that Yeah, no, deal. I did. I did. Like, hey. Like, whatever. Chief was, but we gave him the hit. And Chief left before he did. So he didn't ever leave. So we didn't even get to see his car make it. <laughs> hey, so then we run him. Hey. Hey, that motherfucker just sat there. But on that pass. He fucking chase. But on that pass. I was driving the El Camino. It was my car at the time. And Kamikaze didn't, you know, wasn't, he didn't own it. It was my car. I was driving it. So that's a, I made the fastest pass the car ever made. So Fucking I was right. confident as fuck. So then they said, let's do it double or nothing then since we didn't get to make a hit. And I was like, well, yeah, give me a chance to win my money yeah. back. Yeah, and then then it turns course, out though nobody else had any money out, except me. And yeah, so I put up fucking. The, yeah, you like, lost your we, money. We all went together for the first bet, right. and then I covered the second. Well, bet, you was rich, and then though. he railed the fuck out of us. Yeah, hey, he tossed the gas on me. And yeah, everything. hey, just in a wheelie, just rah, 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 yeah, rah, it was rah, a bad the whole deal. Fucking pass. Well, like an eighth mile fucking wheelie. Yes. It was so, amazing. but guess it what? It was the coolest shit I've ever seen. But guess what? <laughs> Hey, we learned. What'd they do? They, they, they taught us. They taught it. We paid that tuition. The money we lost that night, we have gotten back tenfold yes. after learning their tricks. And we told them that, you know. We paid their tuition. We actually went back down to the same grudge race. Game two or three. to be told is to be sold. <laughs> yeah, we did. Hey, two or three months later, we went down. And Petey, that big dude, he told me that night. He said, man, let Stacy tell it. Let Stacy tell it. And I was like, what? And I looked at Stacy, and Stacy goes, one day you're going to thank me for taking all this money for you. And I, he's like, but until then... Get the fuck out of my dice game. You know what I mean? Like, yep. and I was like, I didn't understand it. But then we went down there two, three months later, same grudge race, same track, same people and, once and cleaned right. house. Yep, right. We didn't lose a fucking race. So, you know, it's tuition. No, Brian, hey, and now when we see them, we're what's up? You know, <laughs> Brian, I mean, Brian, I'll bet yeah. they're still laughing. Oh, hey, I've right. seen Stacy at that cash days a couple weeks ago. Yeah, I know. Ago. I lost a lot I of money like, to him. What's up? Man? I ain't, hey, you know what? Just like you said, Dave's always going to be able to get to Brian Britt. Stacy will always be able to get to me because I lost a lot of money after that race between uh Jay no who was it fuck you and Kai I don't remember who it was but I bet everything I had no it was El Camino that's what it was it was the El Camino versus uh Vetman when the El Camino races I'll take every bet on the starting line it's just something that I do and I took it I think I I think it was around seventy eight hundred bucks by the time it was all said and done on one race and I lost it. And they all lined up at my truck to get paid, and Stacy was laughing That's, his ass off. You know, it's, it, I can say this. You know, I'm, I'm different. I'm a street racing hooligan from Memphis. But every experience that I've had with y'all, you know, y'all ain't try to police us. You ain't try to make us tell us what to do. You ain't, ne- ain't, ain't a word been told. They just turn you loose. Probably turn us loose a little too much. And we won't. You know, well, and, but, and that shit's as real as it gets. That's the way, that's what people want to see is real. And that's what do you want to feel is real. Now, it's not going to sound the best. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's not for everybody's ears. You know what I'm saying? Well, it's real, though. I ain't real, trying to tell you to teach your kids that. You no, know what I'm saying? It's I your agree. choice is what you teach your kids yes. and say and, to your kids. Yeah. Right. You know, but, but now that shit's real. But it is real. And that's what that's what people don't understand. I got these California producers and, and directors and people that make $100 million a year. They got airplanes and shit. And, and their family tree will never be like mine ever. You right. know what I mean? And I got those people asking me on a daily basis, why do you think that your show is so successful? Because hell, we got told today by our executive producer, we got told today that our show, it makes more money than the voice. I don't even know what that is, but it sounds like a big show. And basically if you crunch the numbers, our show in a nutshell is better than the voice. <laughs> I'll go ahead and add to this since we're going to talk about this, but it, it costs a seventh, one seventh to make. It costs one seventh of the money to make our show than it does the voice, and, and it, we got better numbers. And it's way he he acted like it was way better. We get numbers. better ratings than that show, and and they can't figure it out because they don't know why. You know what I mean? They tried I know to why. they tried to do it with New Orleans, the ratings weren't there. Well, you know what I mean? God they damn, tried. the ratings wouldn't be there if I had a fishing show either. <laughs> you know why? I don't know how to fucking you're fish. fish. Oh, you're saying they don't know how to fish. You're a dick. 
Are they street racers? Did you ever hear about them before the show? You, you know, Did you Chief, ever hear about Kai you know, Kelly before he came I, and raced I, us on the yeah, street? Is that my phone ringing? But <laughs> <laughs> you know, he ain't wanting to. Chief ain't wanting to jump on and say like he's knocking them against him because everybody's gonna think he's just. I don't want to shit on no, Kai right, Kelly. That's fine, but that, that's why I'm. Yeah. I'm, no, I'm trying I to help that, explain and why our show's that. so good. I've talked right. to our Kai show Kelly. Is so good. It's real it, because we're real, and yes. we have yet to let them fuck it up. Right. So. So these producers and everybody want to try, they're all trying to dissect it. And they got guys that they're paying more money than I've ever made in a year. They're paying those guys to try and figure out why we're sick, why our show is so big. Right. And it, it's, I could tell you, I mean, I told them to a million times, it's cause it's real. Right. What in the fuck are you doing? That's what we do. Keep on. Are you fitting to piss in a cup right here in the office? Oh my God. Fam, take is. a picture of that. I ain't going to believe this. He's taking Holy a piss shit. in a cup. Oh. God damn, you cannot be tamed. You're like a goddamn bald eagle. You're like a fucking bald eagle. <laughs> he is. This is. It, yeah, I got a good one. I got. You're good, fan. You hear one. that? God damn. There's a bathroom in the other room. It's a moment of silence. Come on. Precious is holding the microphone to his dick. <laughs> Allegedly. There's a fucking bathroom in the other room. The bathroom ain't but ten foot away. You can look through this. What are you gonna do when you? Are you gonna pinch it off whenever you fill that cup up? Tie it That's not knot. that big of a cup. <laughs> you know, uh, this is the first for the podcast. I told you guys I was excited this about this podcast. We, she gonna hold the microphone for him. That's right or die. Street racing, street racing. racing is a different life. It's a different kind of people. <laughs> it is. There ain't no shit about you know, that. But, you know, I couldn't go down there and sit sit in California. God damn, somebody, you didn't even hardly, you didn't even fill half that fucking cup up, man. My you couldn't hold that. Up. I wrecked the car, messed my kidneys up. I can't hold it. Seriously. Yeah? Well, it wasn't very so, much. Can we remove the cup, Phantom? <laughs> Look at it. It's just sitting there hanging no. out. Phantom, it's warm. Phantom, Phantom this no. is your this is your producer, brother. <laughs> he want to talk about that street racers are a different breed of people. How many people <laughs> do you think have experienced what we just experienced? Sitting in a room Full of bullet holes from a from a drug deal gone bad. Just us. And, and we're sitting in a room full of bullet holes in what we call a mess shack with a guy named JJ the Boss who's pissing in a cup. Yeah. While we're talking about anything and everything. I mean, I've done it driving down the road, but and never do in it a fucking time. room. But that it's has real. A bathroom but next look, door. that's why it's real. That's him. This is what he's gonna do. You can't tame. He's like a bald eagle. You can't tame him. So that's why our show is successful because we haven't let them fake it up yet. Right. We haven't let them tell us what hey, to say. Hey, there's been times that they've tried. They have tried over and over I mean, and they over have, again. like, said, here, say this. Hey, and I even bit a couple of times. Yeah, you did. No, you, shut up. Yeah, liar. Let's not even talk about it. So, I have lied a couple of times on TV by just going, man, I don't want to say that. And they're like, J you, you're going to have to say it. You know? And I'm like, man, I, I really don't want to. And we even talked about it as what's bad, and they still talk me into saying it. And so, but then they, but then they tell you, oh no, but you're not gonna see it. You're not gonna get to see yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're not gonna get to. We're not but, gonna show it. We're not gonna show that it. One then time they do it that anyway. I fucking lied and said that our cars didn't weren't there. I wish me and Chief would have brought our cars. We'd fuck all these pro mods up. And I'm leaning on the fucking car as I as you hear me say yeah. it. So everybody knew the cars were there. But that's why our show is so successful because we have not let them fake it up yet. After and, that. And, and they can't and you know the, understand I feel like that. The, 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 and you've been to our street races. Other than the cameras there, be honest with me because I want to know. I'm a kid other than, I mean, as honest as JJ the boss can be. Other than the cameras being there, what? how is there anything different about that from a real street race that makes you just not want to do it? Because you're street. Is what is it that makes you? Is there anything about when you're racing with us on the show? Yeah, why, why do you street? Why do you, do you do you get enjoyment out of running from cops? Hell no. Or no, or do you no, like it because no, the street like, is the equalizer? The my, rich, my, the rich my, my thing on the street where I originated from, I didn't have the money to go to the big tracks, right? You know, I'm What do you mean? I don't know why. Like, why? like, like your car wasn't up, fast enough? Or or I know I came from away? a poor I came from a poor family. Okay. And uh we was roofers, country poor people. You know what I'm saying? And you know, money don't make no man. A man makes money. Yep. You know. Uh, and when but it goes to the go tracks, to, why couldn't you go to the track? Because number one, we didn't have the big money. We didn't have the the. When you go to the track, it's yeah, the I civilized know. people. It's the that they tell you what to do, how to do it, and they know who's going to win before it even happens. You know, it's like if if yeah, you want me to beat, if you form. want me and to beat James Finney, your car and tell you you don't have this, right? Or you don't have if that. you want me to beat James still Finney, ain't got a helmet. don't you agree that you can? Uh, you all you have to do is, is spend a million dollars on me a car, and I'm going to half track that guy. 
Right. Well, know? but when you go to the street, that's different. Most, I'll take most, an old car that I built and I'll beat his ass. I at, have done it. At most preps, you have, yes, you have, sir. God, hey, damn so it. that's the sir, nice fucking job. Sir, I knew, you have. Hey, all you had to do is put that plug in there somewhere. You know, sir, you I'm have. like you this. You have outran Birdman. I, I outrun on the Birdman at the street. And I have not. And, I haven't either. And, and it's like this. You know, you go to a track and here's who's going to win at the track. Whoever has the most well, money. You can check them at the gate. I've said this before. At most prep track Bankston events, boys called me and then you know what they you said? You can check their W2 you want form a car? at the gate. They what? called me. The Bankston boys called me and said, do you want a car? We had a fallout with Kai. I, didn't they, Precious? Yes, they did. <laughs> Why can't and y'all fucking I do can, that for me? When I, I don't know. I'm sorry. <laughs> and, we, we should be more like you know, Precious. They said, they, you know what they said? Hey, man. we got a 900-inch motor. Pat Mucci or whatever that shit is. We got a motor up there. Moofy. Come get it. Pat Busey. Pat, I said yeah, Gary, Busey Gary Busey motor. Busey motor. That's <laughs> and a Gary me, Busey motor. He tell me that, that come get the motor. Any car I want. Send me pictures of the car. Wow. Yeah. I said, why? What do they, where do they want you to race this car? Pictures, the Jekyll. <laughs> it's, they want it's you to race And they the seem tracks. like some good guys. I'm saying, I, I, yeah. I, you know, they're oh, no, they really like nice. Excellent group of guys. And, and they got a million dollars probably. And you they know? want you to race these at the track for them or what? He says, hey, they want me to run at the track. Okay, I got you. I got you. I got you. You know, the track's right. not me. I got to so watch. Looking... If I'm at the track, I want to watch what I say because I don't want a little girl or, a you know, someone's mother right there close. Sean. If I say something stupid at the track, all I know is your damn mother shouldn't have been there in the street. If I say something stupid that I shouldn't say. Oh, in the street, yeah. In the street, street. street. she should not have been there. If I say it at the track, I'm an idiot. Well, because you know kids' seats are five. Kids' seats are just five bucks. You but know you know I mean? the yeah. street. That's where the street is. You know. Yeah, it's but like I, when I'm an idiot, so I mean, yeah. I, I I try not to be censored anywhere I'm at. Yes, right. But, well, but, but you have but, to, and you but you feel guilty, and you do censor yourself. That's bullshit, Sean. Right. I've known you a long so, time. When I first met you, and we go to the track, you did not censor yourself. But since then, you have changed. Well, I'm, are, a, I'm a little more like what he's talking about. I didn't live. I w- I lived two fucking hours from any track. I know. I never no, been I'm to saying, a fucking track. I've never been around. Right. People. But I'm saying, like, when you get in a group of people, you've never been around people. When you get in a group of people at the racetrack, you you talk different. You act. We all do. Because yeah, it's I mean, the racetrack. Everyone. Yeah, I, you're going to be civilized. If you're standing you're in the staging up. lanes with Steve Petty, uh, uh, Jamie uh, Jamie yeah. Miller, and yeah. Eric Dillard, and you're standing there with all these these guys, these big, big, you know. Big names. Big yeah. name track guys. And you're standing there with those guys. You're going to, to carry yourself a little different because yeah. you don't you, you don't want them to think you're a total fucking moron right in For the sure. street For when sure. you're at the street you can do anything but when you're you want. on the street you can be yourself you yeah because there does it's all there is is total you know what in the why streets, would you expect anything just like everybody on the your million dollars says, chief you're a street outlaw you're a damn you should be a uh role model you're a role model to these kids how can you have some girl walking around with you and where's your old family you're supposed to be a role model and you cuss too much on us and i'm like i'm thinking to myself i'm on a television show about street racing that's called Street Outlaws. Right. What about that set screams? I got t- t- tattoos on my hands and shit. What about that screams role model? Yep. I, I bet large stupid money that I should be putting towards my kid's college education against another idiot who's betting large stupid money and nobody knows where we really got the shit. Why, but you should play it fair. Model? You should do this. You yeah, should why do am that. I a Come on, model? man. We're street racing. Yes. You know, you're enjoying it. Agreed. You enjoy your life. It's like people go to bars. They do things different in bars. They do. And yeah. they say things that they wouldn't say yes. at home. You yep. said that earlier. But the difference is me and you have a wire on us and they record us right. when we're in our love and You passion. said that earlier. I've never thought about that, but I I I I'm thinking about that now and I, I'm gonna say I'm gonna use that one a lot because <laughs> these people that are on the internet, these Angies Angie Thomas and all them on the internet. They're yeah, talking Angie shit. Thomas they're talking shit about, yeah, they're talking shit about what we do and who we are and that we should be role models. They don't understand that what they see on TV is just what we show them. You know what I mean? It's not right. so if we took Angie Thomas's night that she had on uh on the fourth of July two years ago in the right. bar at Thunderbird Lake or whatever. Mm-hmm. Yeah. If you if you recorded that whole night of what she did and put it on TV they would think that's who you are. Right. Or pulling her shirt up, being nothing crazy. It, yeah. And just having yep. a party. How many yeah, people, went to Sturgis one yeah, year. Yeah. How many people jerk their shirt up? her fucking titty. Tits. Yeah. And then, but, you know, nobody sees that. Right. The only difference is, now, if the show was more script. And then they say, well, that was at a bar. Script, and it told you what to do, and it yes. was all of that. Then we wouldn't know how to act. 
because right. they would be telling us how to yep. act. Right. Yep. So that's the thing is you can't, I mean, they, they base everything so much upon because you're in the public and, and I say, nah, that's none of your goddamn business. You know what I mean? You know what they say? Oh, well, well you're on TV. You asked for this. This, your life is in public view. No, no, so it's our not. Street racing is in public view. No, well, you, you can, you can talk about the show. You can talk about what happens in the show. You can talk now, about any, you can talk about my cars, now my opinion, whatever. If we're outside, here's where I believe. This is the way JJ the Bloss believes. And if JJ Boss believes that, it's gold it's in Memphis. Church. It's, it's church. gold in Memphis. Right. Okay. You know, like if, if me and Sean or me and you was walking out there and this little girl comes up and wants our autograph, of course I'm not going to scream and cuss like an idiot. Well, no. I'm going to write my name or say whatever yeah. to this little girl and stay calm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, of course. Hey, I never would disrespect right. the kids or the ladies, you know. But, hey, I can't promise the kids and the ladies that I'm not going to say something stupid at my street race. But why would they put you in that position? You why know, would they bring their little daughters into the room to watch you curse and act like an idiot on television and then say that you're affecting them? Why would they put you in that position? And then they right. say, don't change, don't change, don't let the fame change you. I yeah. was a fucking asshole before all this. Right. So you why know, would it, I change it's, now? It's, it's, you, know? you know, it's so hard. It's you know, I, I, here's the way I and would you raise. used to. My mother raised Whenever we would hang out, you'd always say, "Oh, chief, I don't understand. You got your hat down. You don't ever look yep, nobody in the eye. Kind of now. You hide. You don't want to go nowhere. You don't go out of the house. You hide behind that gate at the shop all day. You don't answer your fucking phone. You don't do nothing. Like, you, you know, there's something wrong with you. Everybody's like, "What's wrong with you? What are you taking? What are you doing? No, no, no. You don't understand. I feel like you're in a damn bubble. You, you, I walk around in a fishbowl. Right. With people tapping the glass. You know, when I first day. met y'all, right? You know, me that's and, the way I and, feel, man. And, everywhere yeah, I go. Me and him hit it off right first. You know, you know, me and Chief, you know what I'm saying? We more come from the same area, same everything, <laughs> bad shit. But, anyways, but I love Sean. Right. Cause, cause I respect him cause he's street. You know what I'm saying? And cause now, he's real. Cause he's real. You and know he what ain't saying? gonna act now, like Now he's not gonna do no gonna, dumb shit like we're gonna do. But he's not gonna act like that. You know he's what I'm not going to pretend that he's a that he that he don't fake it know. to make no. it. He don't, and, and I respect. I got, what he I is, got respect he, for him. And, cool and you know, the other day I made a post of this fool, or I didn't. I told Midget to. I can't do none of this shit. My <laughs> computer. But anyways, of of Sean, and I said, "Mad respect, street, right?" And then I had a hundred bad comments that said, "Suck his balls, suck his." Balls, oh yeah, you're a dick rider. Yeah, if you say anything, you know oh, what really? I said? I told I Midget. I said next time. I told Midget. I said next time, tell him that I'll talk bad about the son bitch if that's what y'all want me to. You know, no. what do you want in the world? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It is where I'm matter. getting it at. It doesn't matter what you do. They're going to shit on it. And so so how have you, I mean, are you, how are you dealing with this newfound fame or whatever and people it's, recognize you? I'm, I'm understanding you better. At first, I wanted to <laughs> hit you in your face because I thought Christ. that you, that, that hey, I sat here yeah, and talked to this dude like and I felt like he's a brother and shows me love and, and, he, and he's got a heart. He's normal like me. And then I see him out and he's got his bill cap down covered like a nut crazy and won't hardly speak to you and won't answer your phone call and now i can yeah. me and precious was eating at red lobster earlier <laughs> nice. shawnee somewhere yeah. and we couldn't even finish our food i'm there they're watching how i eat this everything i'm like oh i want to crawl up under the table so you know i'm not gonna get me no damn straight bill cap you know because i'm gonna do me right but i'm gonna but you, you know i'm gonna wear me some glasses understand. and get me a bog and something and you hope can, i don't pull a job you can kind of understand now you know oh god you put it on you start feeling it up I mean, you're you're, you, you, you want to reach up and fucking, you just want to reach up and start pulling her down yeah. you know i'm trying to do right you know what i'm saying i'm god, trying to get my yeah, life together yeah, yeah. you no know, work with me help me yeah but but you're starting to see what what it's like He's and people don't understand to relate. Yeah, I can. And so yeah you're starting to relate and so I and mean, people come up to you, and and and, and, and that's what you know. I understand them because they love what we do. You know, we owe the the people that make the show. They they are part of making it good. Well, we they make the money too, though. We they don't make really, it like, yeah. like you said. I don't. Yeah. You know. You know. It ain't fair. Yeah. You know. It's like in roofing. The guy that toasts the shingles gets a dollar a square. He toasts eighty pounds up the ladder. The guy that puts it on gets fourteen. He just sits there and nails them. He don't do right. any of the work. The hard part's toting it up there. And the guy who yep. answered the phone gets eighteen. Right. Yep. You know. You know. I mean? And so, so it's kind of how. But you know, you know, I feel like I so do it's feel tough like though because it's a big piece of the pie. I don't feel like that we because we didn't go out and take acting classes. We didn't move to Hollywood. We didn't audition to be in this. We didn't beg for this life. We didn't do none of that. We just took an opportunity that someone gave us, and we took that opportunity to show the world what we love to do and who we are and, and to show, to give us something to let people in our world. Well, to let people in and to get, make us immortal, right? Because right. for years and years and years, people are going to talk about the crazy shit you did with us. And I'm going to talk about it. And my kids are going to talk about it. Everybody's going to talk about it. You, you, yep. I've shown you the videos of my kids watching you race. They say, JJ right. the boss. You know what I mean? Like, right. 
So we do that because in our from where we're from and what we've done, and we'd never have a chance to be anything other than who our daddies were or who our right. families we was were. Nailed from right. the birth. So we get this opportunity. But that doesn't mean that we offer up every minute of our personal life, life. to be to to be yes. discriminated to be judged. You know right. what I mean? And people don't understand that, and it's so frustrating. You know, it's 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 wild. And they say you, you owe us. We're your biggest fan. Yeah, that's that's the problem that. And I said, I don't understand how people owe you. think that we owe. Them. What have you paid me? I mean, like now, if I right. you bought a shirt from me, you goddamn right I owe and, you. And you know and what I'll gets me you sometimes? It. You know, and I think it does, Chief. He tried. He's he's comfortable with the mic, but I can see this all over him because I feel it. Uh, and I've said it when when we're out in the public and people sees us, you feel, I feel like a like you're a, like a ornament or something. Yeah. And I get shy and then they read it as I think I'm better than them. Yes. And I'm not thinking I'm better yes. than them. Really, I'm wanting to crawl up under the car because I'm embarrassed. I'm I'm feeling well, it took weird. us a long time to, to realize me. why the fuck would you want to take a picture with me? You know, yeah, right. I'm the same fucking well, idiot that two months ago before you saw me on TV is a piece of shit fucking who stayed out all night. Didn't spend time with his family and street right. racing, you know, fucking spending all my money you know, uh, instead of I all my family on stupid, my fucking playing cars. Playing with those stupid cars. Yeah. You know what I mean? I mean, you know, so, it's a, it's, but it's, it's tough because, yeah, you feel like an ornament. You feel like you're in I feel like I've... And so yeah. you can misread it a hundred different ways. Bear. I literally you can, feel you can like... Mis, you can read it. And, and we need them support like in, in what we do. All you know, we need part of them. We need them. And just like my son, if we go if we go out and there's a fish tank and he walks up to the fish tank, if the fish... Turns his turns his ass and, and point and turns away from Koval and looks the other way. Koval thinks that he don't like him. You know what I mean? But put yourself I, in the fish's shoes. I was shoes. at my girl. Two you're in a fish. You're game. in a fish tank, and and now some kid comes up tapping on the glass, and all you want to do is get away from him, and all you want to do is don't want you to. You just right. why are they looking you at you? Can't really get away from him. Right. So you turn around, and then they think you're an asshole. Right. I was it's like, my, man, what the my hell? two little girls, they play softball, so I, and I go to their games every Monday, and I tell Precious and Midget, I say, hey y'all. Go get me a drink or go get me something. I don't want to get up because I don't want everybody to. Yeah. To, to, yeah. And, and I'm just a. a yeah, well, good, good even, luck I'm, with that then. I'm if not it's already bothering you that bad. I'm yeah. not a tenth <laughs> as, 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 as like y'all are, you know, as, as you guys are. You know, I can only imagine in y'all's right. shoes. And so it's easy to misread it if you're on the. If you're out there, you might say, hey, those guys don't. They it's think they're better than us. Or yeah, they but, think right. this. Or they but, think but that. There's so but there's many more of to them, the story. And you piss one of them off, and that's the loudest right. motherfucker on the internet. Well, oh, they, Sean was a fucking asshole. He wouldn't come talk to me. One second. You know? oh, they wouldn't yeah. give me one All second. All I wanted to do is take one picture. But what, if yeah, if right. I take one picture with you, then the person behind you is going to see me. Well, not and just then, that, but and then what about the 10 before that? What do we do to correct that? You don't do anything. Because when I pulled up here today with y'all, you can ask her. I pull up to y'all's place, you know, I, you know. I, they swarm us. They swarm me, they and swarm I'm a nobody. Us. Yeah, but but they swarm us. Okay, so you know? now, what about this? I, I go to the baseball games with my kid. You know how hard it is for me to go to a baseball game? All the kids, all those kids there are big Chief fans. You know how hard it is for me to go to a baseball game with my kid? And you, all those kids do? are playing baseball. So <laughs> what I do is I stand there and take pictures and sign shit and talk to people and let them – ridicule me about my whole life and my kid who's playing baseball don't get to watch just got just got a just made a play and looked, what I got looked, to, looked for me looked for me so to give to me the, the thumbs up look for me to give him the hell yeah. yeah and when he looked at me my back's turned to him because i'm taking a picture and i had to turn around because the light was it was fuzzy and they couldn't see the you, picture so it wouldn't have looked good on their fucking instagram so now it's how do you correct that you can't there's really you know, twenty you years from now, my girls are going to kick your son's ass in those in those cars. Yeah, maybe, maybe, you but know? not Corbin. <laughs> <laughs> Coble's going to be the tuner, and Corbin's going to yeah. be the driver. But there's there's really nothing. There's you can nothing do. You Luckily, can do. Uh, at Aiden's games now, he's at the field where there's just two, and a lot of the people see me there enough now that unless it's a tournament and new teams come in. I've already talked to everybody. Yeah, you, so know. you know what I mean? Right. So, and this is, and he's 11 now. Right. So I've been going up there since he started when he was four. Plus, you, you know? look, you look kind of mean, Sean, and you're really yeah. not. I feel like well, you might be soft as cotton, but you look mean. I can, I can wear a hoodie. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of but times, though, tough. I can, I can wear a hoodie and I can put a hoodie on and, and, and be okay. But not most me. of the time, ain't nothing I can do. Yeah. Well, and, and, and no matter how bad it is, whenever it's, 
dub double it when it's both of us. Right. The because thing, most of the time they'll go, man, I thought that was you, but then I that's saw where they you and Precious. I knew it was. They, 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 we get that all the time. Yep. We seen Precious and we knew JJ the boss was somewhere close. The you know, thing, and not talking about because we need we do. need the supporters and the fans. We oh, need yeah, no, no, you can't. You know, I love you can't them. bad them. I, we and, love right. the fans. And we so love the people. The only thing you can do is smile and, and be nice and, and, and take the picture and be cool and, and hope that they support you you know, for as long but we as give up around, a lot of our life for this. You give it all up. I've given up everything. You know, somebody asked me. Uh, uh, you know, Veda and Arby tells it? me. Who was it? It was a magazine. Somebody asked me in a magazine uh, or uh, somebody in a magazine or something asked me the other day. They said, they said, if you had it to do all over again, would you would you accept it? Would you would you do the show if you had it to do all over again with everything that's going on in your life? Would you do it all over again? And I said, well, don't ask me that. Don't right. ask me that. And they said, why? And I said, because. You're asking me basically, I would get my best friend back, flip, right. I'd get my first car back, and I'd get to be with my boys every night. Right. You know what I mean? Come on, man. Don't ask me that. Don't make me that. Don't make me that way, right. you know? Don't make me, don't make me hate this, you know? Yeah. <laughs> so the only thing you can do is the next time that my kid hits the ball, be there. I have to be more excited than I was, the, you know what I mean? And it's just, there's nothing that you can do, and you just hope so that one day. So are you day, in the agreement, are you in the agreement that you, you can't act or worry about the past. Do you agree with that? Yes or no? You have no. Yes. You can't. How can you? You can't. You can't. <laughs> That's in the past. Don't worry about it. <laughs> what? what? <laughs> That's in the past. Don't worry about it. Let's roll on to the next one. I don't get. I don't get the. I That's in the just, past. I think he just wanted to smack me. So he That's said in the that. past. <laughs> don't you agree? But I don't understand. I don't is it not in the past? Let's roll on. Come on. It is It is in the past. So you got to watch what you say. There's a difference. Yeah. No, it's <laughs> the past, brother. <laughs> but so you think you should worry about the past. Is that what you're saying? We have to worry a little bit. That's He's going to kill me right now, right? Chief is because yeah, I slapped yeah, him on no. the side of his head. Oh. No way. <laughs> And I, and I and, could probably help him. And help him, man. I know me and Precious can't whoop you two guys. I know this. Cause I, cause, cause I, I know, know we I don't can't. Understand. I'm really Be, confused right okay, now. Okay, because yeah. we have to worry about the past. I got you. No, I see what we have to. You know what I'm saying? But we have to learn I from know. the past. Learn. I know. you damn right. He's not going to say that again. He's not worried about the past. If he does, he's going to hit me in my mouth and whoop me. <laughs> uh, I'm what just thinking about the future now. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, okay. I'm totally I mean, confused. No, because I you don't you no understand regrets. that. Yeah, no, I get it. You do. You have I mean, to worry about you, you know, and and I'm going to worry about it at one point. I believe, yeah, that you learn from your past. I do believe that. You're saying you, you take but I'm not your worried past. about it. Yeah, and you makes you, you better. Makes you better person. Because I've made so some I mistakes. I've learned. I've made some mistakes. Listen past. this. Right. But here's I what no I'm going to do. Okay, here's what I'm say. Say this, and I ain't going to try to. Hit Chief again. Yeah, he hit him pretty hard. Well, I had to to make it sink into him because he's hard headed. <laughs> I mean, he slapped you pretty Check good. Check this out. Dude. dude. And I love you. Yeah. And I, I never want to hey, fight you. You know what I'm saying? That, that yeah. But I, that I'm going to say tough. this. Yeah, dude, that was dude. tough, brother. I know. That was tough. Uh, here's, what I'm, here's what I'm saying. My first, my kids, I got 12 kids. <sighs> I got to love I, you to do that. And, and, and those kids, I love them with all my heart, right? But <sighs> I wasn't the father that I could have been that I am now today with these kids. Does that make any sense? Nope. Yeah. Not that I love Annaline any more than I do Josh, or that no, I love just, Aubrey right. any more than I do place now a Leanne. In. I'm at a different place. Right. So what I'm saying is we do have to take the past. No, I get you. And make ourselves better. Right. I get it. But And I love but, you, and I didn't mean to hit you, but, but I feel like you needed that, brother. Well, hey, you know, sometimes I need to get hit. I've been hit before. I can take it. But uh, I agree that you take the past, you learn from it, and you, you, you move on. But... You can't dwell on it, though. No, that's I don't right. worry. I agree. Well, that's worry. That's what I said. No worry and dwell. So, no. like that, in my opinion, that's pretty damn close to the same thing. I mean, I, I don't worry my, about the past. My, I take, my two boys are. I mean, I they're at my. They are my everything, and I, I can't even you know, explain to you how much I want to be around them. Right. and can't sometimes, and so and, it's tough. But I and, also know that I'm hoping that one day that my boys will learn. From my mistakes too. So I, I, but I want them to look at it as you can be anything you want. It don't matter where you come from. It don't matter who you are. As long as you go for it. And it don't matter what you're into. Believe in what it you believe matter in. What, what you doesn't do. matter what you're into. You could be into fucking dominoes. And if you're into it and you're passionate you're about looking it. You're looking for the candy rock. If you're, if you're passionate about dominoes to the yeah. point where you, that's your religion and you love it and live it, then, then roll with that. Don't let nobody discourage you from it. And hopefully that what I've done will help teach them to, you know, follow their dreams, do whatever the fuck it is they want to do, you know. And I hope that one day they look at it and say, Hey, look, he was, you know, he was providing for us and he was following what, his dreams as a, as a person. How do you feel about this? 
Because you know I'm crazy. I look at things different. Okay. They, you sit here and you bad mouth. We talk about Chief or they talk about J.J. the boss or we talk about Sean. Talk bad about him. Put some awful comments. Call him everything you could think of under the sun, right? That's what and we're saying how bad day. he is, right? They do that to me on But think day. about it. You're calling someone's father or someone's son something. So you're worse than me yeah. by calling me that. Yep. Do you yep. agree? But it makes them feel better. You know, hold on now. If I'm such a bad guy... Who are you for saying yeah. that to to my kids' how about, father? Well, those are going to be the first people sitting in your line the next time you're at the track. Yeah, but, yeah, but about, I'm telling you right now, man. My post, I posted a picture of my son and said happy birthday to him. And all he wanted was he wanted to see his picture on my Instagram. And he wanted to see how many people could tell him happy birthday. Because he's seven. Right. He doesn't know. He only knows ten people. Right. You know, his whole life. And they is say about, some, his, some his whole horrible life is things. About ten people. So he's looking at that like, look at all these strangers telling me happy birthday. How cool is that? They're from all over the world. And then some fucking cunt wants to write a retard, you know, wants to write on there. Can't believe you left your wife and you got a girlfriend, all this other shit. And I'm like, why? My, my son has to read that on his fucking birthday post, you know? Right. But, but to, to me or to them, I'm, they're better than me because of, right. because that's of the only thing life. that I think about when the show, I think about you guys, you know what I'm saying? Cause I'm just a, we're human. You know, yes. we're human like anyone else, and I'm not nowhere near nothing like you guys. Well, I don't you know, know what I'm saying, because I can only not imagine. Not very many humans piss in a cup during a radio show in a in the I'm JJ show. the motherfucking boss. You ain't never lie. You I've been know? knowing you your whole I've life. I've been knowing you for a minute, and you ain't never lie. <laughs> you ain't never right. lie. You know, I, but but you know what? I'm human. Yeah. Yeah. No, I get it. You know, and, and that's my only deal with the the show stuff. You so 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 with that with that being said, this is going to be the longest but best podcast we've ever had. I'm having more fun than ever. Other than the other than the the smack in the face, which Dude, you, I didn't know, not in your face. I didn't, it was on the I side. didn't feel it, it in my side. face anyway. It was yeah. on the side. Buddy. I didn't feel it in my face anyway. I felt it in my gut Jeez. because that's what made me want to get up and stomp your fucking brains Don't out. Don't do that, please. Uh, no, <laughs> uh, no, I, I, you know, I took your lesson that you taught me. That's tuition. I'm gonna let that go, but, but I'm gonna tag you back. One day I'm gonna get you back. Uh, so, with that all being said, there is rumors. And there has been people that, and people on the internet, people everywhere are, are reading into this, you being on the show and you, you running this race and all this other stuff. There's rumors that, and this is the podcast. This ain't the show. You say whatever the fuck you want in this room. Okay. Right. There are rumors that you have been approached from Discovery Channel or, or Pilgrim or whoever, or anyone for that matter, to get your own show. It's going to be Memphis Street Outlaws. You're going to get your own show. You're going to, um, you know, cause they're looking for somebody to give the, the New Orleans, uh, show to or budget to or whatever. So like, what's the deal with that? What's the, is there, is there any truth to that? Have you been approached by anyone? Are you, are you, in, are you look, are you looking into this? Is anybody talking to you about giving you a show? What's the story? Man, be no, honest. Here's, I'm going to be honest. I'm going to keep this a hundred with you. You never lie. Yeah, I did one I time. never lie. Nope. <laughs> you know, here's where I'm at with it. You know, uh, The producers say that we're all a bunch of outlaws and they start talking bad about us. Hey, I'm still going to street race. That's what I love. No to do. doubt. That's what I love to do. And that's what I'm going to do. Now, am I going to be, am I going to mess with a show and stuff? You know, I'm like this. You know, I might not be thinking right like, every, like you're supposed to. I feel like Justin Shear founded the Memphis Street Outlaws, JJ the Boss group. That's how I feel. You know, do I want to come up here and outrun him like everybody else and steal his show? No, I don't want it like that. I don't. It's not. That's what it's not a part. I enjoy coming up and racing with you guys, you know, in street racing. Wait a minute. But you're saying I founded. No, I didn't. Yeah, I you didn't, did. No, 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 that's not right. That that would be well, like saying. Well, I'm saying, saying in my that, eyes. I'm saying, here's what I'm saying. No, I'm saying this. Okay. I'm, say, I'm saying that you race with me in Dallas, Texas, you and Sean. Yes. Together. Yes. And we started talking. You and Sean yes. said that, hey, JJ, or G, I was Jonathan, you are real, dude. You're a real street racer. If you get, do you got another group of street racers? And yeah. I said, yes, I race. I, I, I'll get a group and I got my group that I race with. So you did that though by so, being real. We didn't, you know, you made so, your own path. So then I went and I, and I put, you know, my gathered the group, the Memphis Street Outlaws, <laughs> JJ the Boss. If right. you don't say JJ the Boss, it's not my, the Memphis Street Outlaws. Like a Rolex. Hell <laughs> yeah, yeah. Right. And, not it like is the what it is. You gave me. And yeah. so I took I took some guys that are from different parts and different groups and we combined the forces 
Right. And and the Memphis Street Outlaws, JJ the Boss, made their first appearance with y'all on the on the right on the TV over there in Memphis. So, and so you know, hey, am I trying to come down here and outrun Chief just so Discovery or give me a show? <laughs> hell no, I ain't. And hell no, I don't want to. Now, you've you never, I, for the record, you've never contacted me to do anything with a race or with the show. Every time you've been on the show was me contacting you, not producers contacting you, not Discovery. It was me asking you if you wanted to race with us or if we could race with y'all or whenever, you, whenever we're at cash days, and just for the record, so nobody thinks we're bullshitting here. Whenever we're at cash days, I was upset because I went out first round. I was upset because uh, a few different things, and I've expressed those concerns with the people that matter, and we've we've talked it all out. I was upset with a little bit of the way things went down. So I was like, man, we just need to hold. We just need to put another big race on then. You know what I mean? Let's put it. Let's put a race on really soon, like you know, here next week or two, because everybody's still pumped up. Cars are still running. Everybody's still in the same part of the country. Let's do a race. I said, I'm gonna I'm gonna put on a race. When I asked you about, it, I said, hey, if I put on a race, would you show up? You said. Well, hopefully it ain't next weekend because I'm going to throw a race. I'm like, what do you mean? He right. goes, yeah, this shit's fuck pissed me off. I don't like it. I'm going to throw my own race. And I was like, okay, well, if you're going to throw a race, then we'll just come to your fucking race. You know what I mean? It wasn't, this wasn't for Discovery or for Pilgrim or anyone. Right. Nobody contacted you to do this other than me and you talking at the race. Damn right. right. For sure. 100%. Now, but since then, has, has anybody, have they given, are they giving you a show? Is there any room? Are you, you heard anything on no, that? Right, okay. okay. Not no. at all. Here's okay. what I, here, here, here's what my plans are. I, you know, I want to race with you guys. You know what I'm saying? I enjoy street racing. Y'all bring, you know, y'all bring me up. Y'all let me, y'all let me, you said, Hey, do it JJ's way. Have you, you know, whatever, have y'all do. Do you, know you feel saying? like we were honest with that? You could do it where you did it however the fuck you wanted, right? Mm, shit. I, like I told him, they don't like it. Hit the trailer. Yeah, yeah. He, he, producers like he told and all. You. Like, like he, he told yeah. you, producers yeah. and all. This race, you know, the producers study trying to like, tell Let's me do one round of small tires. Yeah, one, one this, one that. Because, yeah, you know, you got to stand over here. No, yeah. I'm not standing over and do what you want me to do. I'm not going to be your down, your down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pet We're going to have this race, and y'all is going to document it. If you want a street race, <laughs> I'm going to give you a legit street race. You got ten minutes in between races to get them cameras in the cars. Yeah, you do. Sometimes wasn't even ten minutes because some of the races, racers were ready. It's like, crazy as it pulled through. I've never, I've never seen it go down. Well, like now that. we know amazing. they can make it happen. It was amazing. Yeah. They, they've never said that. Every time I've ever tried to do anything, I was like, we can't do it that fast. We need more time for the cameras. You didn't give them an option. You told them it's going down with or without. Yeah. yeah. If that car you know, starts they, doing they, a burnout. They hey, turn around, JJ. Turn around, JJ. Mm -hmm. We need you this side. Hey, I'm not going to fucking turn around every time you try to tell me turn around and, oh, and smile. Get the camera to come around. Because if I do, I'm going to freeze up on you because I'm going to feel like I'm not in my element. Yeah, but fist, if you'll back up out the way, let me yep. do my thing. Yep. I'm gonna let you in on my world. So if they if they did come at you and wanted to do a show about the Memphis Street Outlaws, what would you say to that? Where would you be if they did? If they came to, because the people want to know, man, this is a big this is a big thing everybody's talking about right now. I would get. I would call Justin Shear. I would say, this is what I got going on. They called me and they said this and they said that. And if I didn't do that, I'd be a cow with chicken shit in my butt. Why? But how in the hell I'm gonna come try to steal something that's yours, man? Street well, Outlaws started. My show away. Yeah, I'm, I'm yeah, big yeah, but chief. you say what you want to say. <laughs> you, you big see. chief. You and Street Outlaws, you know, four hundred five is where it originated from, right? Now, are y'all any more street than me? No. Do I do it different than y'all? Yes. You know what I'm saying? So now, if another company cut contacting me oh i see what you're saying okay so if so okay so if another if if another channel you know i got a call another, just yesterday if another channel or another, i got a call from another channel or another uh, fabian show. he said that they said they're doing the the it was the same as so they do fear factor uh -huh. and he said hey will you come and be on the show da 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 give me the I, give me, send me the pictures the group this this all this you know what i'm saying right no i ain't telling you about that because that ain't right. really that ain't, that ain't my ain't, shit that ain't your ain't shit that ain't nothing to do with that that ain't kill fred oh uh, no, uh, is that Fabian? No, nah, that's different, Fabian. It's Fabian Ethel Kill Fred is doing the sleeper deal. You know him too. I know him. Yeah. yeah. Anyways, and they and I said I'm not doing that. You know what I'm saying? And I and I, and so I, you know I I decided I didn't want to do that. Right. Right. If if Discovery or whoever y'all who does the camera shit calls me, you know what I'm saying? If I didn't come to you and say, Hey, look here, Justin. Look here, Sean. This is what I got going on. Do y'all want to allow that to happen? You know what I'm saying? Then well, yeah. You know, I, 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 but I'm not going to do anything behind y'all's damn back or try while, to steal you. Well, I appreciate that. You don't owe us that. No. You know that, right? Well, I owe you myself made, that. You made your way 
being who you are and being right. real. And and that's why the opportunities open and up. And if the cameras the did show up and did turn on you, you wouldn't try to live our life. No, no you, I'm gonna be no, me. I'm gonna do it my way. That's life. the thing is, if you, I'm gonna do it. Yeah. JJ that's the, the boss. only if difference. You, that's the only thing that would piss me off is somebody else trying to be me. Well, right, and you're and you're gonna be you, yeah, no matter always. what. Always. Yeah. Okay, then why then would you want to be somebody else? I ain't gonna never and, do and that. If you, but if you're gonna make it on your own, then you don't owe me shit anyway. I mean, I appreciate the the call, and I appreciate you you looping me in on it, and I appreciate you putting me in on it. And I'll do anything to help you if it does happen. If for some reason they do contact you, I'd I'd love to be a part of it. And I'd love to help you out in any way, shape, or form. I would do that because real recognizes real, you know. But I also, I ain't going to be no hater if you don't, if you don't call me. You know, I ain't I'm gonna going be no, to. Okay, you well, know, that's where I stand. Yeah. Now, am I going to do, and if you say, hey, JJ, check this out. You know, I feel like this is a good this is a good opportunity. You can make some money. You can do this. You can do that. Then I might, then, and, and, and if I decide to do that, hey, I'll do it. And I'm going to do it my way. And yep. people might hate it, and they might love it. I don't know. You yep. know what I'm saying? Yep. Or, you know, you know, hey, back and forth each other as far as that goes. But am I worried about – I'm really just enjoying my damn street racing. I get it. I get it. I get it. Uh, uh, so, basically, if you do get offered a show – then I'm gonna get a phone call, basically. Is what you're Most talking. definitely, I feel cool. like it wouldn't be real if you didn't. I get it. I you know, someone it. asked me the other day on, a, or they asked Midget, and Midget asked me on the internet. They said, "How are those 405 guys?" And Midget made a, she made a about this long. He might have seen it. What I I told I told her because Midget only types what I say. She might lay a few cuss words out. <laughs> <laughs> and I said, uh, uh, they said, "How are those 405 guys?" That was the question. Are they real or, or what was it? They was asking, are they? Yeah, on the, on the, the, the yeah they said, are you re, are you real? And read that to them real quick. What I said, or what you know, and, and, and you know, more or less, I said, here's what I said. I said, I said, uh, Sean is a great guy. He's street. You know what I'm saying? And I said, uh, mine's just a country ass dude. You know, Dave, he's a good guy, but you gotta watch him. He gonna try to make you tricky and make you believe what he wants to believe. Dominator, he, tell me when you find I can stop. Mm -hmm. I said, Dominator, just a country ass dude. Dominator, just a country ass dude. Really don't know which way he's going. Oh, uh, you know, or he wouldn't have been over in a damn fight. Me and you have to bail him out. He don't even know he's supposed to fight. Yeah, yeah. You know, me and you over having to bail him out. Shit's deep, and he don't even know it. He's just a good guy. <laughs> you know, and I say, you know, and then I get down and I say, I, and I say th all of this to say this. I said, I've not really had a lot of dealings with the 405. I mainly deal with Justin. You know, don't get me wrong. He gets on the on the TV and he blasts me, tells me, tells you I, I brought a pro mod. He'll say he messes up on the starting line, then says that JJ was <laughs> uh, trying to be slick to him and 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 uh, move the starting line because he got to clean it up. Yeah, you know what yeah. I'm saying. But so I don't trip on that. Hey, you know what I'm saying. But so I said, <clears throat> Justin is as real as anyone could be in his situation. Yeah. I get that. Yep. You know, and, and yep. that was my little deal of it. I get that. You know, yeah, hey, I, I ain't that. trying to kiss y'all's ass. I ain't trying to do nothing with y'all. I'm telling you how I feel and how I yep. know. And so by saying that, would I call would I call Monza if I got a show or would I tell Daddy Dave? No, I wouldn't because I don't feel like I should. Right. But I feel like my dealings was with you to start off with. Right. Okay. And if you looked at me and said, JJ, I don't want you to do this, I'm not going to do it. Right. Well, and it'd be just like the, the JJ's arm drop was your event. That's yes, mine. If I done somebody, that. You didn't somebody, get in the mix of it. Right. You didn't mess with me. You said do it. Hey, I even seen when you told Sean, you said, hey, this is JJ's race. I seen yeah. that. Yeah, no, you it is. You said, hey, it's his. It ain't my shit. It was your deal. So with that being said, if someone called me from a track or another show or whatever and said, or even if Pilgrim said in the next season, if they said, we want to do another arm drop race, you know what I mean? Let's do an arm drop race. I'm not going to hold an arm drop race. A street wars, arm drop, none of that shit without talking to you. That's your deal. That ain't my deal. I, respect I can't that. hold a JJ's arm drop. You know what I mean? So, right. so any, and, and that's the great thing about the JJ's Chase arm is a drop. race. Well, that's the great thing about the JJ's arm drop. Nobody can hold it because it's JJ's. Yep. You know what I mean? So if anybody, you know, if Pilgrim wants to, cause Pilgrim's done that before with cash days and I've told him Limp, Limpy has cash days. Cash days is Limpy's deal. Right. If y'all want to hold the cash days, you got to talk to Limpy. It ain't right. me. You know what I mean? And I would do the same thing for you. So right. that's the real, real recognized real. That's the way it goes. Now, <sighs> ah, here we go. This is my favorite part. Favorite part. Here we go. 
This is the the end of our we show. Have it. We have it. When we have a guest in the past, we've done a top ten questions, and basically, I ask you these questions, and I'm gonna start with Pre- I'm gonna start with Precious. I'm gonna ask you these questions, and you got to fire off the answer first thing that comes to your mind. Just just answer it first thing that comes to your mind. And if you feel like you have to explain what your answer is, then we'll listen to it. Uh, but you don't have to explain it for any, nope, for any you know, if you don't want to, it's up to you. Basically, so, they're multiple choice. Yeah. So, <clears throat> and we, we usually used to do this for every guest to come on the show, but we've kind of gotten away from it lately, but we're, we're back. <laughs> we're back. We really missed like Ryan. As Doc would say, we're back. Yeah. So here we go. This is the, the Chief and Sean show top 10 questions for precious. Number 10. Carbureted or fuel injected? Carbureted. Can you use the microphone? Yeah. <laughs> Carbureted. Number nine. Farm truck or Asian? <laughs> farm truck. <laughs> <laughs> Number eight. Big tire or small tire? Big tire. Ooh. Oh, that was Ooh. quick. Whoa. I wow, thought she was, was small. Quick. I thought she was small tire. I thought she I would have probably small. guessed wrong on that yeah, one. Yeah, me too. Me too. Uh, okay. Number seven. Grudge race or no prep? Grudge race. Grudge race. Ooh. Nice. Uh, number six. Flashlight or arm drop? Arm drop. <laughs> <laughs> Ride or die. Uh, number five. Concrete or asphalt? Asphalt. <laughs> Damn. Wow. She fires them off quick, wow. too. Number four. <laughs> shaved or hairy? <laughs> <laughs> She said shaved. <laughs> okay. She turned a little red though. Well, see, it's, turned, never, this is the first time we've, we've ever asked a, a girl. Yeah, and but the the but question she's turning red. The question is usually what do you prefer? That's what, it, the question is for guys because it's you know what do you prefer? But now that yeah. she's here, it's yeah. kind of it's kind of got a different meaning. Uh, but now we know, you know, for inquiring minds in Yellow Bullet, they want to know, you know. Uh, number three, small block or big block. <laughs> Small block. Yeah, that's what's up. Number two, <laughs> Doc or Monza? Yeah, Doc. <laughs> uh, it's not, she, she's only like the second person to ever yeah. do that. Everybody's always picked Monza. Yep. Yeah. Uh, and everybody always picks Asian. Uh, number one, street or track? Street. That was easy. That's, uh, was that simple? <laughs> yeah, that, that's that's a no-brainer there. Yeah. Nice. All right. That was a good, that was a good, this is the best podcast ever. This is a special Tuesday edition of the podcast. This is a special Tuesday. <laughs> uh, all right, JJ, your turn for the You're top up, 10, JJ. and then we're going to get the fuck out of here. Number 10, carbureted or fuel injected? Carbureted. Of course. You dinosaur, <laughs> motherfucker. Number nine, farm truck or Asian? Asian. <laughs> Number eight, big tire or small tire? Small tire. What? I thought you said big tire. What the hell? You a small tire guy? I like the challenge and the the, the nobody can do it and all of that. Precious likes kind of the big tire because she wants to beat the big top. I ah, like the, I got you. I got you. That makes sense. That makes sense. Uh, all right. Number seven, uh, grudge race or no prep? Grudge. Grudge race. All right. Number six, flashlight or arm drop? JJ's on. JJ's on. Chases race. <laughs> uh, number five, concrete or asphalt? Asphalt. Really? God <laughs> damn. I don't get it. I don't think anybody's ever said. No. no. Uh, number four, JJ, shaved or hairy? Let's go hairy. <laughs> Tijuana, Mexico. <laughs> uh, <laughs> let's go hairy. Let's go hairy. <laughs> Oh, God. Number three, small block or big block? Small block. Really? Small block. Oh, On asphalt. Uh, you, yeah, and small tires, right? Yeah. Uh, number two, Doc or Monza? Damn, oh, would I be cheating something. on Monza if I do Doc? <laughs> <laughs> I'd be cheating on Monza if I do Doc. That's gross. <laughs> <laughs> Let's take the pair. Two's better than one. <laughs> oh, you're going to uh, have a monopoly. You're going to double team them. You're going to double team Doc and Monza. Uh, number one, street or track? Street. Okay. And the final question of the Tuesday, special Tuesday edition of the JJ the Boss podcast here. Son, who's the fastest street racer in the whole wide world? No. <laughs> <laughs> JJ the Boss. No, we, I got, no, JJ got to answer this one. What do you say, son? Who's what the fastest say, street son? racer in the whole son? wide world, son? You daddy. <laughs> 
I owe you eight more. How many more? How many more? Eight. Hey, eight. Hey. You got eight more? Ten fucking you daddies? Eight. Hey. Oh, man. Hey, that's, that's worth more than the money. <laughs> for all you people who don't know what he that said, means. He you, daddy. For all you people who don't know what that means. In the, in the finale, in the final race between me and JJ when he wheelied, we raced for ten you daddies. So that means when I ask him and I put son in the question, when I ask him, no matter what I say, he has to say you daddy after the, after the question. And I get to ask those at any time, any place, anywhere. And he has to answer you daddy. You only got eight more. And I got eight more and I'm, it's going to take me 20 years to use them up. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thank you so much for coming in. Thanks for giving us a little insight into who you are, yep. what you're about. We appreciate y'all making the and, trip down uh, here. I think that uh, we don't have to be friendly to you for like two years after this we've been awful nice today yeah. so um good luck to you and anything that you do anything you got going on please let us be involved in it let us race with you if you're putting on a big race for big money we want it i feel like i'm gonna be invited because uh he's gonna have to try to get them shoes back and i got i gotta get my back. shoes back gotta have you know what i mean back. why don't we just trade um just, <laughs> no no i'm gonna win my shoes back on the streets of memphis against jj the boss you can bet that or i'm at least gonna race for him god damn it yeah, tell him what you're gonna do precious I'm going to wear my shoes back from Sean <laughs> on the streets How, of how's Memphis. How's that going to happen? On the streets of on Memphis. Streets of I Memphis. think we're 1-0. Come to Memphis and you'll find out. <laughs> <laughs> is that a right. call out? No, I got, I got, Do yeah, you I accept? Got. Is there a yes sure. or a no? Season, well, I mean, season 10 is going to be lit. I ain't scared of no girl, but we're going to have to see what circumstances are. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> Hold on. I see did a lot of people hey. turn down did I hear, did I hear, outs from her. Did I hear uh, Justin Shear say, she's a bad She's a what? You said when she left out on Chuck. Oh, yeah. She's Chuck. a bad. She's shut a... your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> was it a shut your mouth? I don't know. <laughs> did don't you know say was. she's a bad bitch? I don't remember what yeah, that was. That was it. <laughs> it was a bitch. She's a bad, she's <laughs> a bad I think, bitch. Yeah. I think we've probably all at one point said that. Yeah. <laughs> hey, don't, trust me. I've seen her out in front of me before, and I was scared. Yeah. I was scared. <laughs> she can drive. No, oh, there yeah. ain't no doubt about that. So how do you deal with it? Everybody talking shit about you on the internet. And everybody talking about wanting to see yeah. you naked. And everybody talking about all the gross shit they say. How Calls are dirty and the food takes three showers a day. Where's the pictures at? <laughs> <laughs> there got to be some out there. Well, the guys on Yellow Bullet are interested. Oh, are they really? Oh, there's a lot of talk about her Man, on Yellow Man, I haven't Bullet. been on Yellow Bullet yeah, in a while. A I'm going to have to get on there and check and that out. Precious, talk, I mean, precious takes that to heart because she reads it. See, I don't read it. I got a flip phone. It don't matter right. to me what you say. Yeah. But she well, actually reads it. And I say, Precious, that don't matter. Yeah, but how old are you? 27. Okay. So how can you not read it? You know what I mean? Think about I mean Jackie, Jackie's, you know, she's younger You're talking than about I am. Sissy. a little bit younger. Yeah, she's <laughs> no a little bit deal. younger. Fucking dick. No big deal. How <laughs> old are you? Yeah, I, I'm, I'm, <laughs> How old are you? I'm 36. <laughs> Jackie's birthday was the other it's day. It's a hard happy 36, birthday. right? Yeah, happy yeah it birthday. was. Happy, happy birthday, birthday y'all home wrecker. <laughs> <laughs> It was her birthday today. I said, I said uh, how do you I do said, it? I said, I, can't you. I said, uh, I said, I'm probably not going to come in because it's Jackie's birthday or whatever. And Sean said, oh, yeah, no, I understand. Uh, turning 18 is a big deal. You know? okay. <laughs> he, he said, you only turn 18 once. <laughs> Motherfucker. <laughs> Everybody sat there because nobody wanted to fucking be the first day. <laughs> and his brother was working over here and he goes. <laughs> then, he goes i get it once, i get it once he laughed i saw him yeah, and he was God. about to fall out was, of his fucking chair i was out of and then i felt like him. everybody else felt like it was okay to laugh you know? oh, yeah. oh, i'm that dude then Nothing's, i'll make it fucking weird you know sacred. what i mean if nobody else would have laughed yeah i'll still fucking make a joke Nothing, about it you know what sacred mean? So. around here anyway so we have a good time with it but yeah but yeah i mean now you know she's the you know uh, the home wrecker street outlaws everybody calls her that and she reads that shit and it's hard how do you you know what I mean? And they say so much nasty yeah, shit yeah, about people you. People get bad. Call I mean? you yeah. bad people. Call you bad people. Then yep. they say bad things like that. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. That's what hey, my mother says. Judge, don't be judged. I'm a sorry piece of shit, and I've never got on the internet and said some of the stuff that right. they said about I me. Never I've never that. said it about anybody. I mean, yeah, you know, just, maybe to their face, but I'm not going to get on the internet and type and it. And they're gross, and they no. judge it, and every move you make, and, and to a, a female, a young female, like, that's tough. 
You know what I mean? Because it's social media is a big deal. So yeah, how do you yeah. deal with everybody? And then these idiots. And you've had haters your whole life. You I'm them? sure. Just knowing yeah, you the little course. bit that I've known you, you've had haters your whole life. Yes. Like, of course. so you've had to deal with it a little bit. But and we've had haters our whole life. But I don't figure. But it's that, not the scale that it is now. You've never woke up oh, in the morning yeah. and had three million people hate you. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like but that's tough. I don't think that just knowing what I know of you, I don't feel like it's going to take you long to get used to it. Like I, I feel like. You'll brush it off quick. Most it's of not going to bother you well, Most because of it. you putting yourself in the situations that you put yourself being out. I mean, let's put let's call it what it is in a man's world. Well, okay, okay. Doing what you do, putting yourself in a man's world. There's off with their fucking heads. Mainly ninety eight percent fucking guys that you mm-hmm. race. Okay. You know, I feel like you're going to be all right. But, but it ain't going to bother the, you that bad. But the but think about how bad how much worse it would be if we fuck up in the car. We blame it on the car or whatever. If we fuck up or if the car moves around a little bit, they all say, oh, man, he's a badass driver. Look at him. He's getting it. He's wheeling. He's doing good. He's he's all over the oh, place. She fucks up one it. time, man. She makes she one. She makes one fucking right. mistake. And even, even if it's not a mistake, even if the car just wiggles, oh, she can't drive. She's a woman. She can't drive. Oh, she, you know, they're going to jump on you every oh, hey, fucking thing you do. Oh, for one second when I lined up against you in Dallas, I, everybody wasn't laughing going, man, you're going to get beat by a chick. Yeah, you know, and I was going fuck, but you know, and then I'm looking over at so, her in her tank top, and I'm going, so maybe they're jelly, maybe, maybe they're jellies on, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah, okay, maybe hey, that's and something. Whoever I pissed off by saying that, <laughs> hey, it wasn't nothing personal. <laughs> maybe, maybe that's something that can help you uh, if if you get to reading that shit, and whenever you think about it, you know, it's everybody's going to judge you no matter what you do. If the car yeah. moves one way or if the car, if it, if you're sleeping one time or if you, you jump one time, anything you do in that car is going to be because you're a woman or because you're scared or because you're young or because you can't drive because you're this, because you're that. But maybe if you just re- realize that everybody that you race has to deal with the fact that if there's a hundred thousand people talking about that, you're not good at this because you're a girl Everybody you race has to deal with those same hundred thousand people. Or now, if they lose to you, yep, you know what I mean. They're losing to the person that those same hundred thousand people said can't drive. So yep. maybe that'll help. I don't know, but but it, it's it's got to be tough to read all that shit. You know, yeah. When because you know when when you know like uh you know I don't give a damn. I'm an old dude. You know what I'm saying? It's not nothing to me. But precious is you know a young lady. You know, and the most of all, here's what I can say. She don't do like a lot. She don't run her mouth and cuss no. like some of these women y'all see. She no. never bad mouths anyone. She got her little thing off with your head, and that's it. That's all she yep. does. Yep. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, and then you get on her, and these idiots and nobodies. And I tell her, here's my here's my famous saying. Hey, if the fans say something negative and stupid, they're just wanting attention. They want you to comment. If you comment back, they're winning. Yeah. I said, take your time. And comment to the people that says good things. Exactly. And then those That's idiots a, yeah. are going to see that. That's one of the smartest yes. things I've ever Their heard. Their idiots is going to see that, that you're commenting to, to good things. Then guess what? They're not going to say those retarded yes. things. Yep. They're going to say good My things toughest, to get you to comment. That the was really thing, tough for the us. The toughest to thing get for me is to. that. And people told me that, and I didn't care when they told me that. I was like, yeah, but fuck those guys. You know what I mean? They told me, oh, don't respond. Just respond to the positive stuff. And that didn't help me a bit. Yep. A lot of people it did. But to me, I didn't, when people said, just respond to the positive people. Yeah, but I've already got the positive people. These motherfuckers don't think that I'm real, so I'm going to shit on them. But then, I don't remember if it was my dad or my mom or somebody, maybe my mom. My mom said, for every guy that's standing there and yelling at you and cursing you and telling you how bad you suck, if you look hard enough past him, somewhere there's a little kid standing there waiting to see you, just get a glimpse of you, just to get a smile from you, just to get away from you. And if you're looking at that guy who's cursing at you and calling you names and shit and you're cussing back at him, you're going to miss that kid. You're going to miss that fan. You're going to miss that one who's waiting on you. So don't let those people take the time away from the ones that the the kids and those that are waiting around. You know what I mean? Like that that kind of stuff, it it does help for sure. But still, I still wake up some mornings and say, I'm going to fire up this keyboard and I'm going to fucking stomp their head in. Yeah, but also you got to look at it this way, too, is most of the people who talk so much shit, one or two things you can say to them, and then they're a super fan. Right. I mean, the people who are big fucking haters can be turned so fast. Right. And they're on there for a fucking reason. And And the ones that's not, if you'll check it, like, say, our number one haters, if you'll type on there, it's going to be Mississippi or New Orleans. You right. type on there. It's because they're they're, they're 
That, right. that, it's either they're, that's the club, they're friends, but you they're can somebody. Be cool to them, and you but, can say a couple of words to them, and then all of a sudden they're, oh man, hey, I was just doing that to see if I could get a rise out of you. Next thing you know, you fucking say something back to him, and he's a super fan. It, it's right? because you know? it's because you know. Well, I always refer to like stuff my dad or mama said because it's always stuck with me. But like, it's the way that you relate things. And my dad said that you know, love is uh is a feeling or or a passion. And, and love and hate is actually the same feeling. It's the same. It invokes the same emotion in you. Love and hate is the same emotion. First gear and reverse are the same ratio in a turbo same 400. Endorphins. It's the same ratio in a turbo 400. It's just which one you're going first or backwards. So love is love and hate is the same passion inside somebody. So it's super easy. If they hate you, it's super easy for them to convert and, to you know, to convert you. over. So yep. it's when you get the energy of someone who doesn't give a shit about you at all for whatever yep. reason. You get them to love you. That's when you're doing something. Yep. So Cause don't most worry of the time, about And you can tell the difference, too, because most yeah. of the time, if you try to fucking say something cool to the person who just don't really give a fuck, really don't like you, isn't that super fucking hater, then they just, yeah, whatever. Yeah. They don't really give a fuck. They just don't really care. But you're not going to convert the haters them. are going to But turn. the haters, they're, gonna they're either going to say something really bad back to you or they're going to turn pretty quick. They just want you. you know? They just want your energy. They, they just want, want you they, they just yep. want anything yep. from you. They don't care what it is. They just want something. I damn sure wouldn't you. go at it about it like that, would you? No. no. What? No. You know, the, the, the negative wrong way, negative. Yeah. I wouldn't lower. Like, I'm not going to lower myself to say something bad to somebody. Yeah, but they want it from you so Ooh, bad. Hey, I have. I'm they want it right from now. you. I've done it. They want it from I've you so it. bad, and they see everybody talking good things, and you're not responding to them, so they're going to say something really shitty and nasty, hoping they get something out of you. Whether it's. They just want to invoke some sort of emotional energy in you to know that they can affect you. They know they want to know that they I can. I already have trouble talking, so I give it my all. Right. To try to talk. Right. <laughs> and right. then I get people on there talking about the way I talk. Or yeah, that sucks. And yeah. dude, like, because we have a know. black country just, slang, but there's yeah. nothing you can do. Yeah. It, it, you can't let something like that well, bother it's, you. It's me. I mean, I can't right. change that. But yeah. and that, but the but the thing is, if you try to, or if you try not to talk, you're gonna look you're gonna look even worse, and worse. you're gonna hate yeah. yourself. Yeah, you're gonna, you, you know, definitely can't let it bother okay. you. I've never liked my my teeth, and they're like my ears, you know, and all that shit. And people talk shit about that so just much, just nonstop. And so what do you, what do I do though? I don't like. You know, when I get on TV and I try not to smile and then I see it and I just feel like how stupid I look. Worrying about what these people going to say about my fucking teeth. I don't give a fuck about them. Yep. But there's days that it's tough and I can't even imagine how tough it would be for, you know, who's someone who's just getting into this on a, yep. you know, you just showed up to cash days one night and now here you are. Yep. You got a hundred thousand people talking about nasty shit about you on the internet. I mean, yep. that's some asshole talking about what you're wearing and shit like me. Yes. <laughs> I mean, I got a problem with my fucking weight, you know, and it, and, I, and it shows. You can definitely tell some of the seasons where it's winter time. Fucking look how fat I am, you know, and that bothers me, you know. But yeah. it's and just nothing talk, you can do about it. People talk about it. And when people talk about it, there's nothing you can do. Like I told him the other day, I said, "God damn, man, I sure did look fat in that fucking episode the other night." And he's like, "Man, it's fucking winter time, you know. That's the yeah. winter showing." This summer you'll fucking lose that little bit, you know. Yeah. It's it's just but the people 15, that are talking 20 pounds, shit, the people that are talking but, shit about you. If you actually took the time to look at their life, it's rough. You don't want to be them. No, you know hey, I mean? and I've done that. I've clicked you know, into this, looking at them, and Phantom's the worst at it. Sometimes I'll have to call him and go, "Hey, man, come on," you know, because yeah. Phantom will fuck you, you know, and Phantom will find out some dirt on them and shit, and then fucking right. tell them yeah, he'll say some well, mean shit. Fucking, he'll say yeah. some fucking mean He's shit. Like, yeah, well, you know, and it's all under my name. You know, right. most of the time, sometimes. You know, that's the way it was with our the Memphis Street Outlaw JJ the Boss page, right? We, had, we we got the page. You know, I put the page up. You know, midget. I had midget to do it. You know, yeah. And uh, and it's nothing. It's 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 all it's all mine. And so I just allowed everybody to be a part of it. So when they come in, it's something stupid. Everybody thinks they're talking to yes. to, to, to JJ. Right. And and so I told the guys, hey, say you know when you say something, say put your name, claim it, ah, own okay. it, right? Because I ain't said half of that shit. So I show up at a street race, and this little idiot gets out. You know who I am? You remember me? You remember this? Yeah, I do. I, 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 yes, I And I, get I said. verification every time. And uh, he makes he making the little Mimi bullshit, the picture shit. Yeah, Man, fucking right, Mimi. I don't know nothing about that. I ain't into it. I ain't doing it. It's not me, right? You know, I'm like, hey, if we got a problem, hey, Let's yeah, call let's, me. Yeah, let's do it. You know what I'm yeah. saying? I'll put my number out there if you need to call me. Let's meet somewhere. I ain't got nothing. Yeah, put your number out thing. there. I ain't don't, put no trouble. don't put your they number know, out there. They know who you are. They know your name, but they'll never put their real name. All the haters, they ain't never put their yeah. real name And the dude nothing. jumps out at me at a street race and says, I'm hey, remember me? Rah, 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 rah. And I say, hey, dude, what the fuck you talking about? 
Yeah. Now I he don't remember you. you to rem- even and, if it and, was and, you, he expects you to remember one conversation that you had with him. Yeah. Even though there's a fucking so I take in, on there. and you know my guy got a damn forty caliber. He run over with you know he we you know we finna lose our whole life because <laughs> right. this goddamn idiot. Right. You know, and so I you know what over I over the internet. Yeah. So I go back home and I tell Precious. I said, hey, take everybody off that page. Yeah. They are not no more. The only one yeah, is is the drivers. If not, you come yeah. in on mine, it's only it's a person that has a car. Right. It's not someone that don't have a car. Right. And so, and I told all of my drivers, I said, check this out. If you say something, put, put your, your name. name on it. If yeah, you don't, they need to I'm be taking you off that. Accountable for what they and I've done that like you. two or yeah. three weeks ago. You know, I'm yeah. having to learn this stuff, how now, to do oh, it. Oh, yeah, no, to you're going you're gonna to have to. But guys like me and you and Sean, we got our whole life with people talking shit about us and saying things about us and, and ragging us. And we've had to deal with it our whole life. We've had to figure out how to move on and how to get past it and how to not give a fuck because We've gone through the trouble of stomping people's brains in before. And after it was all said and done, it was like, man, he wasn't that bad. He was just, you know what I mean? Yeah. So we've, we've kind of learned to, to not be so interested in what people say on there. Let it go. Need to, but there's other people that, you know, that like, I mean, like Jackie, she, it, I mean, how social media. Man, it isn't as big. Rough. It isn't as yeah. rough. Yeah. But I'm older. I mean, I'm, I'm not saying I'm old, but like, I'm not like Sean or nothing. What? I'm not old like Sean or God nothing. Damn. But, you know, he doesn't even know what I'm social not as media old is. As fucking JJ is. Yes, really? you are 73, 73. Any way you look at it, brother. What's what? 73? What's, you're 73. 1973. is born 1973. That's anything you look at it. Okay, yeah. No, I'm not as old as JJ is. <laughs> you were born in 73? Fuck no. Oh, okay. You look you like born you must had a hard life. Yeah. He had a hard life. You was born in 73? Yeah. yeah he, that motherfucker way older than me. <laughs> Don't oh, let it. Hey, no, right. well, five years. I mean, hey, you know. Yeah, whatever. you take eight hey, years, years of pre- five years. Hey, I was preserved for uh, <laughs> preserved <laughs> <laughs> for eight years. Hey, no sun fucking lines or <laughs> no nothing. No, 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 no kind of alcohol, <laughs> no drugs, no nothing. Eight, no partying, preserved. no partying. So I'm actually nine o'clock you, locked no up. Consensual sex. Nothing. <laughs> well, well no, no. pocket <laughs> fifties. Uh, it wasn't consensual. Anyway. It wasn't consensual. I didn't want to. <laughs> yeah, don't let it get you down. Yeah. You just can't let it bother you. I don't. I feel like you'll be fine. Don't. You'll be all right. You and know, the bottom of our question is, 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 hey, we're going to street race. We're going to be us. That's it's right. always going to be Memphis Street Outlaws, JJ the Boss. You know, hey, do we want to go out and try to be, you know, we started with the 405 and we would like to end with the 405 like part if, if y'all yeah. will allow us. Well, same. If y'all allow us, we want to be a part of it too. Yep. That's mm-hmm. where we at. So let's do it. Yep. All right, All let's right. get the fuck out of here, yeah. man. This is the longest uh, podcast oh my we've God, ever it's done. Been, uh, hey, it was good, though. Chief, can I get really 500 for some gas money? What? I'm getting 500. <laughs> yeah.